These treaties cause an ice age. These treaties cause an ice age. I know no one's linked the ice age with Moroccan treaties before. I know they got a more shield. They got protection at that. They got their own power. They're even walking around their own queue near Indianapolis, the capital of the Indians of India Superior. But where's the Rex Nagus? Where's the Kanakas? Where's Tecumsa? Where's Ten Skatahawa? Where's the Prester? Where's Dawi? Moshe, Joshua, gets quiet. When you link the biblical history with so-called uh, Indian history or American history or the indigenous Naga history, our story, we put our story together. We factor back in this Genghis Khan flow, the Mongol story. We put all these stories together with the phantoms and the duplications and start nailing down some very important time periods like what we're digging on right here in the 17th, 18th century specifically, 19th century specifically. You walking around your cube in an ice age? We got to factor in this little ice age. You walking around your cube in an ice age. Treaties on treaties on treaties. Hawaii's children die. Slaughter, genocide. Harmonics being put on. Whoa. What did these harmonics have to do with the <laughs> with the more and more war? I mean, we let's we gotta put it all together because we're talking ice age and glaciation line. What did that temple of harmonics have to do with the victory of Pushmataha and the rest of the hijacked clans and tribes and corporations from wherever they're coming under this confederacy? What does all this got to do with your mountain of harmonics, man. What's it got to do with Ishmael's migration? <laughs> All this Kentucky flow. Yeah. Ben Ishmael, the sons of Ishmael were a collective of thousands, right? So we, thousands. Before they said over 10,000 at this particular period, the Kumse died with only 500 Nagas by his side. His side. Imagine if he had thousands more. He could have defeated Harrison and him. These Native Americans went against Israel. I know it hurts. Hawaii said you're going to turn into a period of mourning when you realize what you've done to your brothers, your sisters. Got all the poor whites you could, huh? <laughs> the coming together of opposites, right? That's how you slay the dragon and alchemy, the Cadmus. Yeah, man, We're talking about the Konishio. The coming together of opposites, right? Create them. Biological chemical warfare. Yeah, <laughs> these runaway slaves out of Morocco, right? The beginnings of the nation of Islam, we're talking, right? We're talking about the indigenous cons of America too, right? And that one side had to turn on another side, get a confederacy 
create a colony of nomads because they had no home. Tribe up over there in Kentucky, 1790. And out of nowhere, we start fighting Kentuckians that got volunteers on volunteers on volunteers fighting against big tech. They setting up Mohammeds and Meccas in Morocco and Cairo's in America. One link said it goes back to the third century. Them setting up shot. Well, if you're just setting up shot in a third century, you're not indigenous to America. But now you just are setting up shot during a period of Kalelus. More on more war. See, someone has to speak on behalf of the tribes of Hawakob or Jacob. Because our story is not being told in his story. This is Presta John 89, my naga. Shabbat Shalom. We popping off. Barukah. First fruits, first fruits. Naga's hungry for the truth. 50 days after Easter over or 50 days after Passover. Penta in Greek means 50. 49 days to a brew is a jubilee. Pentecost is for the lost. Ain't nothing to do with you and me. We on first fruits, first fruits. 50 days after Passover. Shalom to the tribe. I pray your harvest is ripe. They say, drop, what you going to do with all this information? What y'all doing with all the information? Man, we just put it together, you know. <laughs> we just put it together, man, talking about ice ages, you know. <laughs> Little ice age is an example of how we so often find complete consensus around every aspect of climate change. Just kidding. Ha, ha, ha. We know for sure that the earth became cooler. The whole earth became cool. See, the reason why they got to do a little ice age and make you think it's little, right? Just like they say Old Testament to make you think it's old. And then there's a new. If there's a little, there's a big. What if? Here's a theory. Drop got a theory. Just press the 89. Drop could have a theory. What if the little ice age is the big ice age? And they created the big ice age to create antiquity, to put it back millions and gajillions of years so that you don't know what's all happening right now, right here, right now, right here, my naga, right now. 200 years ago, They've done so much erasing and iconoclasm, putting images on you, changing the images of all these tribes. They've done so much brainwashing that 200 years might as well be 200 million years to a night. 500 years, 700 years is, you know, they can mimic antiquity based on that and say, yeah, let's push that back to the past, to the BCs. Ice Age. Let's not let them know that we were the cause of the Ice Age, that the destruction of Hasharal, of Israel right here in the promised land, Kalelus. Let's not let them know that we caused this, that our treaties caused this Ice Age. That Hawaii was so displeased with us that the entire earth got so cold. And they come, came over here to America, marching around their cube. Coming over here, setting up their settlements. Mooresville. Morgantown. <laughs> In an ice age. Over the death and destruction of their own brothers. If this has anything to do with you, make recompense for it. You can't hide in your Moorish shield and Moorish isms. We know the difference between more and Moorish. We know the difference between black and blackish, smart and smartish, and strong and strong 
ish. Hawa put us in the Ruach Tarde Ma. For Hawa has poured out upon you the Ruach Tarde Ma. You're not so strong, man. Us at full power, you don't want to see these dragons popping off. You might need to get to the back of the classroom on this one. We didn't come out of your temples and sciences, and we're still popping off with the sciences. That should give you a little bit of uh, humility. You can have 33 degrees and not have 360 degree dragonfly perspective. That should humble the whole entire earth plane that these nagas are popping off out of a deep sleep, a deep slumber because of our transgression. That you benefited off of our transgression. But now we're going to benefit off of our code keeping. If we can take this type of L because of transgressions, imagine the W we're going to have right now, right here, right now, my naga, right here. Because we are making our stand right here. We KTC right here. And in code right here, these dragons are popping off in code. Dracon means to see clearly in etymology. In my naga, we see clearly. Hawa put us to sleep. <laughs> Gave us a spirit of deep sleep. You watch the movie Inception to get into like three layers in the dream world. They got to have a sediment so strong, right? They got to get put into a deep sleep. We got put into a deep sleep. You over here slapping us around while we sleep. Trying to fight you, trying to fight you, trying to fight back, trying to fight against your treaties. Yeah. There's an ice age popping off, y'all. And I believe this ice age is the ice age. <laughs> this is when Antarctica froze over. This is all this fossilizations and, and, and things being frozen in the ice and all this freeze over business and polar shift business and polarities and all this stuff. Hawa was plaguing the earth because of the killing and the bloodshed, the treacherous, more and more war, the treaties. Ama Aba was showing the pain. We know for sure that the earth became cooler. The evidence can be found through a variety of techniques for assessing historical temperatures, such as the study of ice cores and tree rings. And my naga, now we can put together all this high, this high Amazon queen business. The queens in Antarctica, look up Moore's Pyramid in Antarctica, right? You got pyramids, you got ancient trees, you got an ancient world. You can put it together now. It wasn't that long ago. It's like the movie Frozen. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a curse, right? We're talking curse. Man, we got cursed by our creator, and our creator apparently cursed everything. We got this drop on the, the curse of the Kumse. And then they got specific into presidents and assassinations and different things, but the curse is bigger than what he's making it. The whole earth was in a plague. The whole earth was cursed. Look what this, you know, research is talking about. A curse was placed upon the U.S. presidency by the chief of the lost tribes of Israel. The comb say is being called by not me. This is from Deb Zimmerman, man. The chief of the lost tribes of Israel. The chief of the lost tribes of Israel. The, the chief of the Israelites, Managa, would be considered what? Right, you could say the king of Judah. 
You could say uh, the Khan, the Prester. You know, these give real strong Prester vibes as they're connecting the indigenous. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Copper color race is found here, right? With the tribes of Israel, right? This is a very interesting connection. <laughs> It's ping pow all over the place. You can't deny it and write it off. The white man's book, brother, no, King James did a remix to take you out your code. Your Tanakh is ancient. Your code is ancient. These stories are happening, but they're happening here. And antiquity is actually, you know, closer than, than what it appears. You know, things in the mirror might be closer than what they appear. We're talking mirror, we're talking phantoms and duplications. What does George Jones got to say about it? The curious, courteous reader in tracing the fate of Tecumseh as depicted in the following pages would not fail to observe the strong analogy between the religious sentiments of the chief of the forest and those of the ancient Hebrews. Let's say it again with clarity this time. <laughs> the reader that's paying attention can't help but to connect. To Kumsay, the chief of the forest, the chief of the Israelites, <laughs> with those of the ancient Hebrews. So he's being called a chief here. He's being called a chief here. Uh, you know, two people are agreeing. And according to their law, that's when you start getting on this truth. I mean, yeah, people can agree on a lie all day, but you know this ain't the lie, my nagi. You know this ain't the lie, my nagi. They don't benefit from you indigenous nagas keeping the code, man. So this ain't the lie, man. <laughs> Hijack City don't benefit by you nagas in the hood, a hood near you, start keeping the code. You start resting together, not spending money Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. Come on, man. They're going to feel this shit. They're going to be like, yo, they don't spend money, you know, from Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. Some of, some of my noggers be like, look, man, come on, drop. You're messing up my money. I made money on Friday nights, man. I'm trying to get you to be the head, not the tail, my nagger, so you can make more money, my nagger. So you can get your land back, my nugget. You got to choose up the money you could make on Friday night or you want everything. I'm trying to put you in the fight for it all. You can't want some things. It don't work like that. You got to want everything or nothing. You want to be the head or you the tail. You want your life back or you want to be lifeless. Keeping the cold or you out of cold. Our creator put us in a deep sleep. These ancient Hebrews got put in a deep sleep. The Khan, he went down fighting. His last battle was in Canada. He went down fighting this Khan. You made treaties against this Khan. Put us in an ice age, man. Cursed the entire land. They call it the curse of the Kumsay, right? <laughs> We're talking the Eba rules. What does it say in the races of man? We're talking about the people in of America always accepting that standby of the thoroughbred theorists, namely that the copper Indians, that is the true Americans, are the copper Indians. Indigenous cons are the true Americans, are the lost tribes of Israel, headed by Preston John. We're talking chief, headed by Preston John. We're talking chief. Oh, no, nah, boss, we're just talking 1800s. Yeah, see, the objects in mirror might be closer than what they appear. Say it with me. Objects in mirror might be closer than what they appear. 
my naga. You got put to sleep for a couple of years, <laughs> couple hundred. You were still fighting throughout these 1800s, though. But you got multiple sources from George Jones to Robert Knox saying the same thing. These are the lost tribes of Israel. They're the true Americans. This is the, these are the Israelites. And when you realize you went to war against Israel, that you're benefiting from the war, the hijack is benefiting off of us. But you're Christian, right? <laughs> You're Christian, right? <laughs> but you're benefiting off the death of Israelites in America that set up your Christianity. Your Christianity got set up on the blood of Israel. That was the sacrifice. That's the lamb. That's the sacrificial lamb. Israel, not just one man. All of you got crucified, hung on trees. Israel, the true Americans, the copper Indians, the Nagas, the niggas, the Israelites following the Preston. Kandawi, whom I will raise up unto them. But first, you got a KTC, you got to serve Hawa. We got to be cold keepers. That's how we break the spell. You don't got no choice, man. You're choosing your family. You love your family. Keep the cold. Rest on Shabbat. Teach them to rest. It's going to put them in a higher vibration. It's proven. Out of cold, they're susceptible to anything. Outside of their shield. You got a shield. We could have shielded these folks away if we had enough cold keepers here, man. But nah, man, it's a more and more war, you know? We got other powers here, man. We got other powers to contend with. The holy mountain of harmonics cube is over here, right? I'm not saying it. They saying it, man. They were viewed as odd and referred to as gypsies. Oh, you mean Egypt? You mean Egyptsies? Egypt, right? Just put an E in front. You'll see clearly. Gypsies. Egypt, man. It's a way of, you know, uh, fogging up the truth <laughs> so you don't quite see clearly. The group was suspected of having a high infant death rate and in the 1880s. It was common for the children to be taken away from their parents. Well, I'm sorry, you made the treaties by that time. Don't complain now. now. Don't complain about how bad you're being treated after you made the treaties. You could have fought as one united force. Now you're getting picked off independently, right? Individually, right? Because you didn't want to try, but <laughs> you wanted your treaties. Adult members were arrested on the array of charges that imprisoned, committed, or bound to serve it to. I'm sorry. Tecumseh to, to told you that they're going to come for everything. Don't complain now, boss. That's 100 years after your treaties. By the late 1800s, three-fourths of the patients of at Indianapolis City Hospital, a mental institution, were from the tribe of Ishmael. Well... We're talking about a curse, right? You walking around during an ice age, man. Indianapolis. Servitude. Hey, they want to talk servitude. That's good. I want to talk about them. Oh, Hawa, hold not your silence. Hold not your peace and be not still, Hawa. He's saying, Hawa, it's time to pop off. Now we. 
for lo, your enemies are in an uproar. They are tripping. Treaties on treaties. And they that hate you have lifted up the head against the chief of the Israelites in America. They hold crafty converse against your people and take counsel against your treasured ones in America. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation in America. That the name of Israel may be no more remembered in America. For they have consulted together with one consent in America. Against you, do they make a treaty in America? Who? Well, you know, the tribes of Edom. Ishmael is now complaining about servitude. Really? I thought that's what you do. Moab. Oh, yeah, they got their profit, right? But in order to make that treaty with the enemy and get in good in their citizenships and create a, a nice tent for themselves, they had to cut us off from being a nation so that the name of Israel, Asherah, you don't remember your name, right here and i say in america but we know we got nagaville nagas all across the earth plane connected with these vortexes here but this is mama it's big mama big dragon india superior you're gonna humble out and you're gonna see order you're gonna see creator got order from day one anybody doubt that Anybody doubt the creator got order from day one? So the creator got a code from day one because the code is order. We getting back in order. Nice and swiftly. The way we supposed to, the way we came here to do. To put the best future, you know, for, for our children so that they can be remembered, so that they don't have to be more ish anymore, Christian anymore, Muslim, Islam anymore. They can be who they are, Jacob, Reuben, Gad, Neptali, Benjamin, Levi, Hawauda, Ephraim, Manasseh, we can be who we are again. We can be who we are because they have consulted together with one consent. And this is very important, man, because we're talking about the coming together of opposites and only that can create this freeze over, right? They had to create opposites, put it on us to slay the dragon. It's very simple. Very simple. They had to dam up the place. They had to create opposites. They had to change directions of things. They had to create opposites, Manaki. They had to <laughs> go after the pomegranate, the pomegranate Nagas, the Hebrew Rimon. Rimon is pomegranate. They had to become the Roman to hide the Rimon, the pomegranate. We needed the pomegranate as evidence we was in the promised land. So they took the promised land, became the Rima, became the Roma to slay the dragon. The creation of opposites. Aqua Miss D and the copper color awakening. We popping off, man. We're talking about Black Draco, man. <laughs> talking about Black Draco. Alchemy. Alchemy. Alchemical stuff. That's a great link on uh, blackdraggle.com. We always just hope that these links be still up, man. Be honest with you. Every time I come, I just, I just hope it's still up. Let me just try to go straight to it, man. Black 
Drago. Dot com. Let's get it. Okay, man. Hey, this guy, we've been serving the wave, man. Got a lot of drop, a lot of dragon drop. And we're going to be right, be right back on our Dracon, uh, Draconology for my Draconologists, because we study dragons around here. We are Draconologists. And yes, that's a real official science and a real official study. And not enough Nagas is claiming to be Draconologists. You know, you studying the dragons. You uh, in Draconology 101, you know, anatomy, physiology, you get your real science on. They got a section on alchemy around here. Hope they still got it, man. Maybe I can do a search for it. No, I don't want to search here. Let's see. Mythology, history, basic information. Okay, they got colors and types. Different breeds, yeah, man, different myths. Hey, what is a dragon? Now they're saying the dinosaurs were dragons, right? So, hey, I, I'll be. Now they want to talk dragon out of nowhere. Nine dragon scroll, the rainbow serpent. Now you're talking Kitsukawaru. When you see this rainbow, that's the sign, right? <laughs> well, you're talking Kitsukawaru, the rainbow dragon, not just a rainbow in the sky a rainbow dragon, but that's for my advanced <laughs> draconologists only, man, because, you know, everybody ain't ready. Everybody ain't ready. Oh, we got alchemy popping off, alchemical stuff happening, man. So it's a great little link, and it connects some real clear things that when they, when they talk serpent, the serpent is not the dragon. <laughs> Serpent, right, is not the dragon. Now, this is alchemy. This is the energetic, you know what I mean? They're, they're getting to the, the finest energetic principles. So the energy of the dragon, the dragon which represents the quicksilver, the philosophical quicksilver. In other words, they don't know, right? Unlike ordinary mercury, we're going to get on this mercurius. It's not that. It's not anything like what they're talking about with their mercury with their thought is um the philosophical quicksilver is a mysterious substance but not gonna pay attention love the aqua miss d who found this link man. you are a mysterious substance right <laughs> of unknown origin let's just put this together real slow my knock we're going to go real slow and put this together. This is too good to rush. This is too good to rush. Okay, let's back it up. Okay. This is them talking, right? Columbus and his followers, most of whom were men of great ability, though he alone had genius in that land. These great men found nothing. Let's get it bigger. Columbus and his friends found nothing. Let's get it bigger. Columbus and his followers found nothing to resemble the countries they had left. When they came to America, Columbus, this is back in the races of men by Robert Knox. He's dropping, you know, one page later, he's going to say the true Americans are the copper color Indians following Prester John, right? So same author. It's a page earlier talking about Colombo. Found nothing to resemble anything that they had seen before. No trees, nor shrubs, fish, birds, nothing which lived in America. Nothing which lived in America. Say it with me, my naga, in the back of the class. I see you. You took your headphones off of this one. Good looking, my naga. Let's pop off. Nothing which lived resembled what they had previously seen. Body back for the illusion. Mysterious substance of unknown origin. In other words, this dragon 
we don't we don't understand it. It's unlike anything we've seen before. Yes, there's other, you know, species that's similar, but this is unlike anything we've ever seen. This is of an unknown origin. It's mysterious, unknown origin from this quicksilver. The living spirit can be extracted. The dragon. Which means to see clearly in etymology. Get out the mind of a hijack. The dragon is not the serpent. The serpent is the serpent, right? Serpents often represent the impersonal nature of the unconsciousness. They're not even conscious. I'm talking robots. I'm talking about chemical serpents. AI. You got a bunch of AI noggers walking around here, man. For real, for real. The serpent is impersonal in nature and it's unconscious. It's, it's just now bursting in the consciousness. That's why some of these other tribes, you just can't feel them. You can't feel their frequency. It's like they're unconscious, but they're conscious, but they're unconscious. Like you could walk right by them and it's like they don't even notice nothing about you being there. Like they're not conscious. They're not aware of anything. They're just not aware. These are serpent tribes, Monaga. These aren't dragons, man. They're impersonal. You're like, yo, can you just be cool? Like, you know, smile. They have to learn to smile, Monaga. They got to learn to be personal. They're bursting out of impersonal nature. Animalistic type of stuff. But even animals have a more personal nature than most of these Hijack tribes, they're impersonal, they're heartless. They'll make treaty on you after treaty on you after treaty on you. Preston John is going against the impersonal nature, the unconscious, the zombies. As it burst into consciousness, that's the serpent, not the dragon. See the dragon? <laughs> it's an alchemical dragon representing philosophical quicksilver, unlike Mercury. This philosophical, <laughs> they're philosophizing about you, man. Quicksilver is a mysterious substance of unknown origin. Even we can't figure it out. And we're alchemists. We just call it the purified substance or the drop. From this quicksilver, the living spirit, that's that Ruach, that's that Ama, that's that dragon, right? That's that dragon you see clearly. That's not impersonal in nature. That's not just bursting into consciousness. They're extracting it. They're extracting you. While the dragon does not represent this living spirit, it is the vessel in which the spirit is contained. Wow. Which also means it does represent the living spirit because how could it not represent the living spirit, the Ruach? If it's the vessel that contains the Ruach. But now you're talking about that dragon armor, right? That frequency. You're talking about the code. The code is a dragon, Managa. The code is the dragon that contains that Ruach. The Ruach is contained in a code like a blanket. It is the vessel in which the spirit is contained. It's not the unconsciousness bursting in the consciousness it's not the impersonal nature of the unconsciousness now they're having you know what they call in uh, artificial intelligence synchronicity or uh singularity right their singularity is them bursting into consciousness ai bang especially in mythology and dreaming when the act of what conientio which is the what the bringing together of opposites. What did they do? They brought the opposites, right? They created, in many cases, they created the opposites. Go do your recon. Scientists, alchemists, alchemical serpents which we know clearly is not the dragon. So in the Bible, they talk serpent all day. You got to go into context and see if they're talking about the dragon or 
the unconsciousness or the serpent. And the serpent is not just a snake in our and in, in most indigenous, you know, mythologies or stories. The serpent was the fox. The serpent was the dog, the dog headed, these dog headed tribes. But now we're back to talking about St. Christopher or Christopher Columbus, the dog head tribe. I can't make this stuff up. The dog headedness, man. The Anubis in them, right? The Kairos, right? The creation of opposites. Now you're migrating for survival. The bringing together of opposites occurs. The serpent is frequently part of the symbolism. This is especially true when representing androgyny. Now you got the Baphomet or the Mahomet, which they embrace the Baphomet as part of their sciences, right? It's this, the male, the this, the this. It represents the no images. What's rule number one? I'm sorry, man, because... They consulted with one consent, right? <laughs> Against you, do they make a covenant, a treaty? Exodus 20, got us in code. Can't talk code, keeper. Can't talk Preston without talking code. Plus, you know, we got our code keeper series coming in high, but just in case you're just getting here, we're just going to go over rule number one. I am Hawaii, your power, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You shall have no other power before me. Deal? Deal? Is this a deal breaker with anybody? Mo Moab. Moabites. More bites, is this a deal breaker? Moorish nations of America and a Maxim all across the Nagaville earth plane. Is this the deal breaker? When you call on Allah, are you calling on the creator? The power of Israel, because the creator is the power of Israel. Or do you ignore the children of the creator and act like you got some circumvented, you know, power cord that connects you over the children of Israel to the creator? Because, see, that would be covetous. That would be out of order. You want to go through Ishmael to get to the creator and skip over Isaac? That would be blasphemous. You don't want to be... A covet is not, because you know, thou shalt not covet your neighbor's house. All this was about covet is not, is coveting our house. All of it, all of it, Manage. all of it, all of it. I don't care what titles they give it today. They got to switch it up. But up to 1950, <laughs> they just talking about you. All this Vietnam, Korea was just Nagas getting bombed, Nagasaki's, Nagasaki getting bombed. Nagas getting bombed, dragons getting bombed, Philippines, we already showed you what that is. It's you. The real Philippine, the real Philippine is the indigenous kind. Yeah. They're covetous against our house. We tried to fight and unite. For the land of the Preston, 
So you press them, man. This ain't about information. This is vibration. I'm vibing up. I'm not doing this to win a plaque, my nigga. We're hitting press to 100 on the YouTube. And then we're going to put everything else on 432thedrop.com. We don't need no plaque. We just want you to know we exist and that we did it. And we did that. 100 press to John, full investigations from the code keepers to you. And what did we do with it? <sighs> we kept the code. Rule number one, I am Hawaii, your power who brought you out the land of Egypt, out the house of bondage. You shall have no other power before me. You shall not make into you a graven image. <sighs> nor any manner of likeness of anything that is above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water underneath. You shall not bow down unto them nor serve them for I am Hawa, your power, a jealous power, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate on me. If your son started calling another dad, dad, would you get jealous? Be honest. Oh, I can't get jealous. You Hawaii's children. Remember? <laughs> Maybe you forgot. I don't know. Did they cause you to forget that the name of Israel ain't remembered no more? Amos 3. Hear the word of Hawa, which I've spoken against you. Moab, nah. Edom, nah. We're talking to the house. The house that they're covetous against. Covetous neighbors. Idolatrous neighbors against the whole family. All right, we're just talking about our family. The whole family. All the family of Abraham? Nope. The family of Lot? Uh-uh. The family of Jacob. If you cover this against that, we're going to find you out. And this just ain't for you. You know what I'm saying? It ain't going to work. You can't come out of code in this frequency. If you cover this against us, it's not going to work for you. You're going to have to check that. And if that's too much, you got too much hate in you, then that's what you're going to go down with. You had too much hate to get rebuked, to change, get that hate out your heart. All praise to why for existing. To have real children on this earth means the earth can be saved. That's a good sign for you out of code tribes. And you out of code tribes of Israel, you better get in code. Because you only has a wild known of all the families because it's the, it's the whole family, right? The treasured ones, right? They, they put a covenant treaties on the treasured ones, but you only have I known of all the families of the entire earth. And that's why we had to get visited. That's why we had to get that work. Because we're two all together. Except they have agreed. Have you agreed? Have you made your, your oath? That you will listen this time? When you want to get out of punishment, you tell your parents, I promise you. <laughs> I'm going to change this time. I ain't going to do that again. I promise. Because if you don't make that oath, you still in punishment. But we're just talking about old children of Israel, man. Don't try to squeeze into this covenant now that you feel benefited because we on the come up. Nah, you didn't want to be a part of this work then, but now you want to be a part of this work. Cover this noggin, back, back, man. You might got too much hate in your heart. You might got too much covetous in your heart, man. We're just talking about keeping the cold. Exodus 20, got us in cold. But you over here putting other powers before Hawaii. You bringing in Zeus to the picture, Jesus to the picture, Christ to the picture, Yahweh Shai to the picture, 
Yeshua to the picture. Choose your Joshua because the Joshua that led you to the promised land didn't ask you to worship him and call him the son, but he made the son stand still. Man, these are elite level magi. Are oh, you walking on water? How about I part the waters of the Jordan? Elite level magi. Don't front on Joshua because you got a new Yeshua, Yahweh Shai. No other gods. Oh, but Jesus is God. No other gods, you blasphemer. I got to go through Muhammad, through the tribes of Ishmael. Blasphemy. You were never taught to go through another tribe to get to the creator. You decided to make graven images. I'm talking to the tribes of Israel. If you're outside of that, fall back in the back of the class because this is what I came for. This is what we rising for, the whole family. You can't say you want us to be a tribe, but then you don't want us to tribe up. If you're rooting for us, then allow us to have these conversations, even though I know you're here listening. But I'm taking that risk. I'll take the L of any hijacks being in the classroom. I'll take that to get the W, because we already won. A how to the pro natural by law. Look out for that tribe of music, because that's the music we march into. We tribe it now. They're making graven images. They're making manners of likeness with this Baphomet. Yeah, I'm still talking about the Baphomet, the Ma'amet. I mean, why would you think it's play play though, right? Why would you think it's play play? Why, why at all? When you think about the Baphomet and the images and the male and femaleness of this whole image, and they say, nah, oh, man, that was just demonized, but here's the image what it's supposed to be. <laughs> man. It don't take long till you start to connect some things. <laughs> the name Baphomet comes up in several of these confessions. Peter Parter, Partner states in his 1987 book, The Knights Templar and their myth, quote, in the trial, the trial of the Templars, one of their main charges was their supposed worship of the heathen idol, right? We're talking the treacherous Templar. It's a more and more war. You got good Templars, you got bad Templars, you got heathen ass Templars, right? But they're all under these knights. They're all under these Nagaville royal houses, right? But some are worshiping this heathen idol head known as the Baphomet. And they even tell you, Baphomet equals Mohammed. What do we have here? Body bag. They count the body bags. And I mean body bags because we're talking dead, graven images, man. How does this got something to do with Hawa? What part of Hawa is inspiring this? talking about chemical serpents. You want to talk serpent in the garden, man? A chemical serpent in the garden. Came in as a dragon, left as a snake. I mean, that serpent had to be flying at first. What was, he, what was the serpent doing to get cursed to have to be on his belly? That means he wasn't on his belly. <laughs> was he a walking serpent? A leaping, jumping serpent? Or was this a fiery, flying serpent? A dragon that got his wings snatched like they do in their mythologies when the angels get their wings cut. Now he's a snake. Now he's an alchemical snake. Alchemical serpent representing androgyny, which is this image of the Baphomet. Raymond of Aguilar, the chronicler of the First Crusade, reports that the troubadours used the term Baphomet for Muhammad. Body bag for the use. Baphomaria for mosque. Their mosque is named after the Baphomet, the Baphomor, Baphomoria. Man, I can't make this stuff up. 
can't make this stuff up. Around 1250, a poem bewailing the defeat of the Seventh Crusade by Augustaric the Adorhawk again uses Baphomet for Mohammed. Now they're spelling it the normal way, right? The name Baphomet appears in the trial transcripts of the Inquisition of the Knights Templar. These are the Saracen Wars. This is the more and more. Baphomet equals Mahomet. We're trying to get you Nagas in code. You don't need this. To, you don't need this. You don't need the sciences you want to break down behind it. You don't need the power you're getting from it. You don't need this power, man. You don't need the Mahomet. You don't need the Jesus. You just need Hawa. Nor any manner of likeness. Thou shalt not make any graven image. Where do you think that? Where, where do you think that Mahomet, M A H O M E T, is placed? Right near Indianapolis, man. M A H O M E T. Morocco, Mecca, they popping off. 380 day journey. Fall, spring, summer. <laughs> Not winter, because we're just talking ice age. We're just talking freeze over, but right now we're just talking androgyny. An image of the union of king and queen, male and female, as a single androgynous God. You're calling on Allah, make sure you're calling on the creator. You know, I know that some of these are generic titles like God, like uh, like above, like the great one above. But make sure you point to the right great one above, not the one kind of above, not the one that's in the the uh the stars, Managa, in the firmament, but the most high power. Make sure you M H O E, most high over everything. You're not even supposed to have no images of your androgynous God. You're not supposed to be walking around this cube, man. That's not a part of the script. That's not a, anything to do with the creator or the children of Israel being free because the entire story is about these seeds, the Kumse and them, raising back up and taking into those captivity whose captives they once were. Not making no graven images. That's why Hawaii is jealous because you are his children. You the seeds of Abraham. What are you doing? You why are you giving this all this power? We know what's inside that cube. You got your shrines of Saturn, Jupiter. Walking around kissing it. One of them corners is the backside of this statue of Saturn. You're throwing stones, you know, at these uh, you know, walled situations, sometimes deep into the earth. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to get the devil off. You're taught that's how you get the devil off, is throwing stones. Idol worship, you're throwing stones to Mercurius. But this dragon is unlike. None of that stuff, what they call ordinary mercury. Unlike it is the dragon. Unknown, mysterious, unknown origin is the dragon, but the living spirit is in it. Managa, you can't be a serpent and have the living spirit, so you extract it, whether you are physically eating dragons like we got in Preston John of the Gypsies, where these Ethiopians <laughs> in West Europe are popping off eating dragons, extracting the life. They're getting more life by eating dragons. By eating you, they get more life. My naga, we're talking melanin, right? Yeah, we're talking melanin, man. The living spirit it comes from, you know, it's connected with this energetic 
you know, the dragon is the water, right? <laughs> that mem sauce, the fire, the earth, man, the air, the ether. So that's the, ah, that's that mama. Big mama is that dragon. While the dragon no, it does not represent living. Yeah, right. Because it's the vessel in which the spirit is contained. Some alchemical texts mention the process to identify the spirit or soul of all things. The dragon is prepared from the philis philosopher's venom. <laughs> We're talking dragon. While Mercurius fires up the primordial dragon, giving it wings. Man, don't throw this Mercurius at us. It's unlike ordinary mercury. <laughs> so pause on the mercury we realize it's unlike anything you know it's unknown don't bring mercurius up because it's unknown primordial we're talking the beginning in a physical sense this is the process of vaporization wow how you think you get that mem sauce out the volcanoes that mem sauce yourself pop it off man that primary water, that primary steam from the volcanoes going into that primary rock. Now Moshe is getting water out the rock. Fresh born water, primordial water. The universal spirit is the blood of that dragon. We ain't talking about the unconsciousness bursting into consciousness. The dragon as a Fabled winged being symbolizes philosophical renewal. The dragon is life, the living spirit. The dragon is renewal, my naga. The spirit is the blood of that dragon. Or the initial pulverizations, man. If we're talking ether. In other instances, the image of the dragon or wyvern represents the divine water and power. We dodge all hijacks. Stop it. It's unknown to you. It's unlike uh, ordinary mercury. <laughs> unlike. So it's water, Managi. It's power, which is why the green dragon is the symbol of freedom, you know, back in them days. But we didn't even need that to be a symbol for us. We didn't need no images, right? So to even, you know, be making shrines to dragons, you know, all these, you know, oh, this is the image of the creator. I'm going to make it a dragon. That's not allowed, man. Yeah, a dragon is a dragon. We get it, you know what I mean? But the dragon is not the symbol of a wa, right? That's, we don't have no image because the dragon, when we talk fire, water, ether, we're talking about the ability to be anything. The fire, my naga, the water, that's, that's primordial elements. That's deeper than an image of a reptilian reptile dragon. So to put it on one thing, to make this your image, to make an image for this Baphomet, Mahomet, to make an image. Even if this is an image connected to an image, we know that this wasn't the original set up but they're setting it up for a reason it's representing something for a reason this is a continual migration baphomet muhammad for a reason they created opposites this serpent they brought us opposites to america creating a freeze over an ice age They divided and conquered with our opposites, right? And when the act of conientio, the bringing together of opposites occurs, the serpent is frequently part of this symbolism. Whoa. When the bringing together of opposite occurs, the serpent is frequently a part of this symbolism. So whenever the bringing together of opposite occurs, you know that the serpent is behind it, frequently a part of it. <sighs> the serpent that represents androgyny is behind it. 
<laughs> the bar for me. The Muhammad. These harmonics. This 440 hertz. The slave vibration that Thoth put on them in the Emerald Tablets. Making him, making them cower at his feet, making them weak, making them afraid. This fear vib fear harmonics. What else could it be? Did did this harmonics help us? I'll wait. Did this holy mountain of harmonics help the Nagas to attain freedom? Did it help us fight the hijack? Did we use this power to fight the hijack as one collective harmonic force, my Naga? Or did it help you to secure your treaties? Slave vibration, right in real time. Androgyny is often a part of this, frequently a part of this symbolism. So the fact that they brought our opposites over here and, you know, put them as a straw man and made them pop off white power when we know what the white power is. <laughs> We know what the white is, you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I can't make this stuff up, man. Where do we have the definition of white? Yeah, obviously we popping off, man. We got a lot of wave surfing to do. We just talking white right quick, man. We just talking white. Topics of race, white, a person having origins in any of the original peoples of Europe. Hmm. Middle East. Hmm. Or North Africa. Body bag for the illusion. Creation of opposites. So you create these titles and you give them to a straw man, right? You create a people and you say, they're the whites. When we know that whites and their forked serpent tongue can also be spelled W-I-G-H-T. A spirit, <laughs> a ghost, other supernatural being, oh. Unluckily white, especially one regarded as unfortunate. But now you call yourself black, which in their language is wicked. So now you're the unfortunate and they're the white because they changed the spelling. <laughs> yeah. White. Demon, right? Yeah, I know. You so say, you sure you don't want a white demon? No, man, I said white demon, man. <laughs> a white is a demon, right? Just like uh, Game of Thrones, right? The whites, I mean, you, you get it, you get it. Y'all get it. I know my knockers get it. We're just talking whites, man. So living creature, uh, especially a human being. So are, are we really human beings? Because this might be about them. <laughs> A ghost of deity, yeah, okay. What else they call white, man? We gotta get to the drop around here. Look at all the different spellings for it, man. It's crazy. A demon, a monster, like the Game of Thrones. So when they say white, keep this definition in play. Keep this definition, right? It's like a parasite, right? Like a parasite. And all it takes is a small amount to get infected. We're just talking demons and monsters when we talk white. You know, just keep all this in mind. So the act of Connie or the bringing together of opposites, Monaco, this is how they took down the Presta John, the King David, you know what I'm saying, the Nagaville, the tribes of Israel, the chiefs, right? The Marukan, 
by the act of conscientious, the bringing together of opposites, they took us out. This is the alchemy. This is the magic sciences they did to this day. These harmonics are about the bringing together of opposites, separation. Now they got duality instead of unity. And thought is all about duality, right? Phantoms and duplications. The serpent is frequently part of the symbolism. So behind this straw man business with these whites, the serpent is frequently a part of it. Why? This especially is true when representing andro androgyny, the Baphomet, the Mahomet. Single androgynous God might also have both holding a serpent or a dog, you know, because they put the dogs in the pictures too. Serpents represent everything from the monstrous snake to the cosmic serpent, right? So we're talking the cosmic serpent, the stars, the quasars, right? The moors on Mars, the cosmic serpent, spirit, the supreme serpent. Who's that? Who's the supreme serpent? I just hope and pray when you're saying Allah, you're not praying to the Supreme Serpent. When you say most high, you're not talking about, you know, the cosmic serpent. When you're praying to the one above, the great one above, you're not just stopping at the cosmos. I pray you're most high over everything. The creator is not being represented by your doctrine. The cosmic serpent is being represented by Christianity and Islam. Because none of them is telling you the KTC. No other gods, no graven images. No powers before your power. Stop making your, your power a jealous power. Because you're cheating. You're breaking the oath. Can two walk together unless they have agreed, right? Amos 3. So Hawa visits the iniquity of our fathers, which is what we're witnessing with the Ruach Tarde Ma, the deep sleep, under the children, upon the children, unto the third and fourth generation. So here we are, my naga, we popping off. Because Hawa visits the iniquity of the fathers or the mothers upon the children until the third and fourth generation of them that were out of cold that hate me. To hate Hawa is to not listen. To spread lies to make the children not listen. That's hating on the creator of the entire earth, man. And it's nowhere you can run. Your bunkers ain't going to help you. Your islands no one knows about ain't going to help you. You're hearing this transmission. I'm speaking on behalf of the Nagas all across the earth plane, the creator of the earth plane. You hate the creator with your images, with your other powers, with your monies, with your palaces, with your riches, with your power. But it's game over because that third and fourth generation is up. Now imagine if you kept a code. Hawa shows mercy unto the thousandth generation of them that give Ahab to Hawa, that listen. So you could be code keepers today, and Hawa would appreciate that so much that you kept a code that he would give Baruch to a thousand generations after you. Even if they wishy-washy, he's going to show them mercy because you kept the code, which is why we are able to wake up because our ancestors before us, we did have some code keepers and Hawa showing us mercy for them. On their behalf, Hawa showing us mercy today by ending the deep sleep. We got cursed into the third and fourth generation, man. They came up with treaties. They, come, they came with a confederacy against the treasured ones. They said, let's cut them off from being a nation. They're in a deep sleep. They're in a Ruach Tardema. So that our name can't be remembered, they consulted with one consent against you that they make treaties.
They brought opposites together. The cosmic spirit, the supreme serpent brings everything to life, but also kills everything, boss. Here we go. So much killing, fighting our own brothers under this serpent vibration. So much killing that it caused an ice age, my nagi. So much killing that it caused an ice age. Man. I mean, it kills everything. The serpent is everything and nothing at the same time. <laughs> this serpent represents the androgynous Baphomet, which is always a part, frequently a part of the conientio, the bringing together of opposites. And only the bringing together of opposites can slay the alchemical dragon. What does it say? Slaying the alchemical dragon is very simple. Only a couple of lines. Look at it. Only the act of or the product of conientio, the coming together of opposites, can slay the alchemical dragon. Slay the alchemical dragon. Slay the alchemical dracon. The one that comes from a mysterious unknown origin. Philosophical quicksilver where the living spirit is being extracted every day. The water, the power. To slay that, you got to put up these damn dams. You got to change the course of these rivers. You got to create the opposites, call them the whites, even though the whites are in North Africa. Call them the whites. Let them fight against the whites. Let the whites go ham on them. Let the whites go ham on them. While we tuck back and enjoy the show and get as far as we can go to slay the alchemical dragon. They brought our opposites to slay us. They are impersonal in the nature. That's why they can do this. How can they do this? They're impersonal. They don't care. They're unconscious. They don't vibe up with you. They represent their Muhammad. And it brings everything to life for a time. But also kills everything. So much killing that it calls an ice age. The earth became cooler, my nugget. The evidence is found through a variety of techniques for asserting historical temperatures, such as the study of ice cores and tree rings. There are also extensive written accounts of the cold in the form of letters and diaries, sermons, the records of wine growers, and so on. The cooling happened in phases with an initial drop beginning around 1300. What the Templars say the 1200s is the 1700s. <laughs> Come on, man. This is a recent cooling. That's why the Perry Reese maps, they had no ice on Antarctica's cap. <laughs> no ice cap on Antarctica's chest bone. <laughs> No cap on Antarctica's chest bone, man. This is a recent cap. They say little ice age so that you don't know how big the ice age was and how recent it was, but it affected the entire earth. It can't be little. How can it be little that affects the earth? The, the whole earth? The earth became cooler. That's an ice age, ain't it? And we, ain't we talking glaciations? I'm sorry. I I'm seeing this cue pop off. I'm seeing the cue pop off. 
White River, right underneath White River. You have a glaciation path and direction of annual migration of the Ishmaelites during glaciation. Can you imagine North America with big glaciers all over the place? Glaciers means ice sheets going miles and miles and miles, man. Look how long this glaciation line is. We don't see the whole thing, but there's multiple glaciation lines while they are migrating. I mean, there's a lot to be connected and studied, man, when it comes to these harmonics. Did that cause, you know, any level of, you know what I'm saying, glaciation? I mean, what's, you know, all we see is glaciation lines, glaciation lines, glaciation here, glaciation over here, over there. Thousands of miles, man, of glaciations, of glaciers. So a glacier is a big old sheet of ice. Why is there ice? This is the tribe of Ishmael migration in 1785. They said it started in the 1300s. It got colder and colder and colder and colder to the 1900s and colder. And colder. It didn't just stop after this. So when they talk global warming, love to my fam. She left a comment. We're going to get to your comments because your comments are all the way up, man. Your comments are all the way up. I appreciate them because you're helping us put all this together. Fort Wayne, Fort Wayne treaties, 30 million acres given up. You got the Finity Treaty or something like that. Finity, that's another, that's pretty much all of Ohio being given up masses of land being given up by other hijacks that aren't even you on you. You're the tribes of Israel. They're saying, well, we, we couldn't outpower these Nagas by ourselves. Let's go get the night. Some other uh, whites out of North Africa, <laughs> make sure to plant it right here. You know what I'm saying? And uh, start migrating around your cube. Let's get their help to take out the chief, the chief of Israel. Glaciation. Limit of glaciation, approximate edge of glacial advance. Moraine, rocks and soil deposited by retreating glaciers. Whoa, moraine, right? Whoa, whoa, wow. <laughs> okay, we didn't, we didn't connect. Every time I see this, I connect a little more. Over here, you got the Shelbyville Moraine. What's a Moraine? Rocks and soil deposited by retreating glaciers. Rocks and soil deposited by retreating glaciers. So, by the 1700s, this is where certain glaciers were retreating, but that means that they were already here, right? So all this had glaciation, glaciation. You got the Bloomington Moraine up here. You got the Shelbyville Moraine right here. Managa, do you see what I see? Lots of glaciation. Retreating glaciation is a more rain. As they're migrating, the more rain is retreating, the ice is retreating, and these areas is finally warming up. <laughs> but it's been cold for hundreds and hundreds of years. This land got cursed. They don't want you to know it because they want to blame it on fake volcanoes and solar activity and then say, well, it could also be uh, related to these Nagas that's being you know, kill, you know, it could also be related to, you know, all this, uh, this mooring it up, you know, 
these treaties that's popping off, you know. <laughs> Cause the earth got cooler. Yeah. What they give as a possible cause, several causes have been proposed. Solar radiation, volcanic activity, changes in the ocean circulation. Whoa, come on, man. Come on. Whoa. Whoa. Every time we look at this, we put more together. So global warming is nothing but the end of the ice age, man. Not little ice age. Damn. Oh, you thought you had to drop already? This the fifth wave, my nigga. We popping off. And we're going to be popping off the Radio 432 to drop. Download the app. The fifth wave is popping off on June 18th. So that's the official day. Uh, you know, look out for the Ether Squad. Shout out to the Ether Squad. All the team of Reconners, educators. They're going to be giving you that drop. So look out for the fifth wave, June 18th. Um, hey, man. First fruits, first fruits. We popping off, man. And we see it clearly. We thought we had to drop in the third wave, fourth wave, and now you really see it clearly, man. We we just getting started. It's popping off. Global warming is a product of the end of the ice age. They don't want to be blamed for the ice age, so they pushed it back a million, a trillion years. Dinosaurs became extinct. Dragons became extinct. Damn. All that shit just happened. Several causes have been proposed. They even say the changes in the ocean circulation. You know what kind of earth changes need to be happening for the circulation of the water to change? The flow of the water has changed. They're damming up the place, right? They're causing these changes based on what? Harmonics? I mean, you could equate these type of changes, I mean, with Atlantis, a Maxim, right? Atlantis. The poles are shifting, man. The, the polarity is changing. What? You got the Kumsay's Comet. You got meteor storms happening in 1833. You got super floods. Sick. All this is actually happening as part of the curse, my naga. As part of be, being, you know, put into the bads by the creator, right? The creator is showing force here, right? Just like today, you're starting to see it happen again, heightened volcanic activity, cyclical lows in solar radiation, chemtrails all over the place, harmonics, for 440 hertz through your TV, radio, changes in the ocean circulation, variations in the Earth's orbit. Of course, we know we're not flying through space, so we're just talking about polarity, Inherent variability in global climate. Ain't that happening today? They're trying to put us back into an ice age, man. <laughs> they don't want you popping off. And decreases in the human population. Being pal, they always put the good stuff last. They always put the good stuff last. Decreases in human population. Shikamagua, 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 Shikamagua. Shikamala, Shikamala, Barbary, Swan Knights, the Kumse, Shemino, the Pirates, Managi, <laughs> hey, Winnebago, which is all still these Canadian wars because the Kumse took his last fight right there in Canada. All the way up, the Black Hawks, man. All the wars in Chicago, the She, talking to all Max, man. More Cherokee Indian wars and Seminole Wars, Texas Indian Wars, decreases, decreases in human population. 
such as from the Black Death. We're talking European plague. But really, we're talking Hawa's plague. Hawa was plaguing them over there already. They came over here, broke the partition. Columbus came over here. <laughs> brought, up, brought down the entirety of Atlantis. Got the super plague, came over here in the coldest time, the coldest time, the epidemics emerging in the Americas upon European contact. Although a variety of infectious diseases existed in the Americas. Shut up, man. You don't know nothing about Americas. This is the unknown origin of you. You just don't want to admit that you brought these diseases, the limited size of population, small number of domestic animals with zoonotic diseases and limited interactions between those populations hampered the transmissions of communicable diseases. So we didn't have a lot of disease because we had at least limited populations. Shut up, man. You wiped all this, you wiped all these nagas out with this disease. Wiped all these nagas out with this disease. You came over here in America, man. Ice skated, man. You ice skated your way through Virginia. Yeah. Because a little ice age took place during a European Spain, right? Morocco. Colonization of America. Atlantis colonization of America. It threw off a lot of early colonizers. So the early invaders, they got thrown off by this play that they brought. who had expected the climate of North America to be similar to the climate of Europe. And it was cold over there. So they were just hoping for something similar. You have a tropical paradise. Hawaii made it <laughs> so cold that they were just hoping for something similar. However, North America, at least in Canada and Northern United States, had hotter summers and colder winters than in Europe. They couldn't get comfortable in the heat. You know that. And it was so cold. You got an ice age, man. The effect was aggravated by the little ice age, man. The, the big ass ice age that the whole earth is feeling. And unpreparedness led to the collapse of many early hijack invaders in America. <coughs> <coughs> Let me clear my, let me clear my throat. It's getting good. I'm talking hijacks. Let's go. So when colonists settled, when invaders settled in Jamestown, Virginia, Jamestown, we're just talking King James and the patents and the treaties. Historians agree it was one of the coldest time periods in the last 1,000 years. Largest drought in the past 800 years. Drought means they had no water. <laughs> now, connect this with the Anasazi migration. After 1200, they started ex experiencing that first drought, that first famine. And if, you can, if we can connect these 1200s with this Genghis Khan, Presta John invasion right there, it started right there when the, when the Presta was invaded in 1202. Or are we just talking the 1700s? You know what I'm saying? Love to, the, love to the Templar. They came over here in America to drought and the coldest time period in the last 1,000 years. They walk right into a bigger plague than they were in in the Black Death Europe. They walked into a bigger plague, which lets you know their numbers ain't what they say anywhere because they weren't surviving here. They were collapsing here. We're just coming out of this ice age. Which means the cause of the ice age can plague us no more. The European contact, the black death, the plague, the curse they put on us with their harmonics, with their slave vibration, European contact. Well, you can call it that or, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, 
and maybe even in the beginning of the day, you know. We're just talking to the same treaties, man. <laughs> If we're talking Ice Age, we got to be talking what happened to the Nagas. They came over here and they found nothing that resembled you. No trees that resembled the trees of Europe or anywhere else. Birds, fish were different. Nothing which lived resembled anything they had previously seen. Nothing, I had better say nothing was identical. Nothing, boss with the productions of the old world or their, their world had nothing, nothing produced here resembled anything strictly the countries they had left. Man was there, no doubt, but he was not identical. Whoa. So the man or the tribes that you found here did not resemble the tribes you had in Africa, Europe or Asia. Over there, you found the children of Israel, which is why you claim it that these copper nagas, that these copper color Indians are the true Amaru Khans, which were the lost tribes of Israel who fled on rafts. Shut up. You don't know where they fled from. You don't know how long, you know, their lands from Lemuria and Mu we're underwater. You don't know what happened. You ain't factoring in Atlantis, man. Everybody was on rafts after Atlantis went down. <laughs> Coming back home to the promised land, following Prester John. Tribes of Israel. So three things connect for you right there, Pink Pal. <laughs> Prester John is the chief. It's the Khan of Israel and the kind of Israel is a copper Indian, a true American. Let's say it again. The copper Indian is the true American, is the Israelite, is the seed of the Prester. We on Prester 89 on the hijack's head bone. They enjoying their treaties to this day. I mean, to this day, boss, while we've been put in a deep sleep, the earth became cooler. While we were in a Ruach Tarde Ma, a while closed your eyes, namely that of the Nevi'im and your heads, your pine cone, you sears, you can't see. <laughs> you can't see clearly. You ain't the dragon right now talking etymologies, etymologies. Let's go. Love to let us find the truth. We popping off. Dragon. Dragon. To see clearly. I have seen light clear. That's the dragon. You don't see clear no more. Stupefy yourselves and be stupid. Isaiah 29, let's go. Blind yourselves and be blind. You don't see no more. What happened to your drag? Did they create opposites, conientio, to slay the dragon so you can't see? Nothing's clear to you anymore. You're in a Ruach Tarde Ma. spirit of deep sleep to go after these other hijacked gods you must be to get rolled up on by these lesser powers you must be in a deep sleep to thank you from africa everyone came out of africa you must be in a deep sleep Hawa must have closed her eyes stupefy yourselves and be stupid man why are we acting so stupid blind yourselves and be blind why can't we see clearly Where's your dragon?
You that are drunken, but not with wine, that stagger, but not with strong drink. Why are you staggering around like a boxer in the ring? Shout out to bro Devin Haney doing his thing. Fight drop coming in hot, man. Went all the way to Australia to show what it is, man. He ain't staggering. We ain't staggering. We represent that stagger, but not with strong drink. What happened? You got stupefied. A wah. Your power poured out upon you. The Ruach of deep sleep. You got that living water, right? You got that, that life, that dragon, the vessel that is contained in. But that dragon got put to sleep. So the vessel in which the Ruach is contained in got put to sleep. You ain't seeing clearly. A wall has closed your eyes. Took your dragon away. You used to be the one with the deadly class. They knew not to walk up on you. They knew not to roll up on you. <laughs> that glance was deadly because you were seeing clearly. Now you in a spirit of deep sleep. You in a Ruach Tarde Ma. We stupefied. We stupid. We blind. A wall closed your eyes. The prophets and your heads. Your heads. The seers hath he covered. And the vision of all this is become unto you as the words of a writing that is sealed. We couldn't see it because it was sealed, which men delivered to one that is learned. While you popping off your more sciences, it's been sealed for us. So we're learning your sciences now. Instead of learning us. Because it was sealed. We couldn't see clearly. You took advantage of that while we were drunk. But not with wine. With our own ego. With our own pride. With our own out of cold transgressions. We were drunk. We were staggering around in the aroma of hijacked city. Following their gods. A while poured out into us. Not them. That's why you can't blame them, Anagi. So when you paying attention, I'm not over here just banging and, and bashing our brothers or cousins or none of that. I'm like, we can't blame y'all. I mean, you got to still make recompense, you know, but we can't blame you. Hawaii poured out this spirit of deep sleep on us. You just took advantage of it. You saw an opening. <laughs> you saw our eyes were closed. You saw we had no dragon no more. It was the perfect opportunity. We were stupid. Our prophets were gone. Our heads. We were no longer the head. Hawa sealed it. And the vision of all this is becoming to you as the words of a writing that is sealed. You have no vision. It's sealed. Which men deliver to one that is learned saying, read this, I pray you. And he says, I cannot. It is sealed. Why are you getting on this drop now? Because the seal has been lifted. The Ruach Tardy Mile is over. You have an opportunity to see clearly, which means you get your dragon back because every Naga got a dragon. The Ruach Tardy Ma is a wrap. Because a wife visits us into the third and fourth generation. It's over. Wakey, wakey. See clearly. It was sealed, my night. And the writing is delivered to him that is learned, saying, read this, I pray you. And he says, I have not learned. And a wife says, for as much as this people draw near and with their mouth and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me. And their fear of me is a commandment of men learned by rote. Therefore, 
Behold, I will again do a marvelous work among this people. Do you want to hear the marvelous? It, this wasn't no small work. To put you into a deep sleep, into a tarde ma, this is a marvelous thing. This is going to let you know you got a creator. It's going to let you know Hawa exists. This was a marvelous work among this people, even a marvelous work and a wonder because to all these people that saw us so strong and popping off, so powerful, we are a marvel. That's why they created the Marvel series. Preston John is a Marvel character. Huh? Marvel. Preston John, they are marveling at us, man. They are marveling at us, man. I can't make this shit up. They turn us into the Marvels. Huh? <laughs> Preston John. Come on, man. Get out of here. Encountered a crusader named Preston John battling Muslim warriors. My naga, they're telling you what the story is, not his story. They want you to be more and more rich, but they're not telling you who they're really fighting. King David. The Kumse, Moshe, you. They want you to be more rich. Praise to their power. It can't be your power. Don't you get it? It can't be your power. That's why they use genetic terms like God and Allah, which are generic terms. They're not talking about a wah of Israel, a wah of Jerusalem, of the tribes of Hawako that were put on, you know, full display, man, full exposure. Our transgressions were put on full display because these Muslim warriors, these Moroccan Catholics, they came for Preston. They came for the seed of Israel, the Davids. The Black Knight helped John overcome his attackers and brought him to the Crusader camp. Then they prevented an assassination, assassination attempt on Richard the Lionheart. Now they're talking Braveheart, man. After the Crusades, John traveled the world until he found the Isle of Avalon. <laughs> or we're just talking Kalelu. This Avalon keeps popping up, though. Keep it in mind. Keep Avalon in play. There he gained the quote unquote evil eye. Oh, the evil eye? Or was he the one with the deadly glance? Body bags. Count the body bags. Count the body bags, my dog. Count up the body bags because you got the deadly glance. Bodies on bodies in Kalelus. Aki's on Aki's the Amaru. We talking Sylvanus to Texas. Genealogy never connects this. Hawa. <gasps> Let's clear out the atmosphere so we can see clear. The evil eye or the deadly glance or the seeing clearly that he gained, he was able to see clearly as a plague seemed to wipe out the citizens of Avalon. <laughs> now we're back to the ice age, right? Now we're back to the ice age, God. This little ice age was a cold period that stretched from the 16th century to the 19th century. They said 1300s. Everybody feeling it in Ireland. We have hardly any temperature records prior to the beginning of the 19th century. However, the Central England temperature CET series goes back 1659 this series produced by the Haley center in england has very close parallels to the annual mean temperature at kilkenny at the peak summer english temperatures 
will be typically warmer and equally deeper winter a little colder however as we can as can be seen from the 1958 to 2015 chart below they just coming out the ice age When averaged out over the year, the CET and Kilkenny mean temperature are very similar. Below is the graph for the CET for the period from the 1700s to the 1850. If we take our assumption from the first graph above that there is a little difference between the annual CET and the annual Kilkenny mean and use the CET as a Kilkenny proxy, we can get a good idea of what conditions were like in Kilkenny at this time. They try to figure their stuff out. The year 1740 in particular was a very cold year. Yeah, it's all happening. in the CET annual temperature was down at only 6.8 Celsius compared to approximately 10 Celsius now annual mean for 1981 to 2010. This temperature level is more akin to present day Southwest Iceland. The year 1740 in Ireland was known as the Blaine in Blaine and Air, year of slaughter. This was known as the year of slaughter. So we know we're talking bodies on bodies. Ireland is us. Scotland is us. Some have theorized. So all this killing across the airplane, the freeze over was happening. It wasn't just America. <laughs> We're focusing on America, but they were popping off everywhere. Our, our people were in Europe fighting, Byzantine fighting, Spain fighting, everywhere, Ireland, Scotland, swarthy nagas, royals, houses set up everywhere. <sighs> I mean, come on. This was a marvelous work, my nagas. We're talking marvels, my nagas. And there was a plague which seemed to wipe out the citizens of Avalon. John prepared to sit upon the seat of survival. Now, this is technology which would place him in suspended animation. So when we got this drop before, we said, what's suspended animation? It's kind of like, <laughs> you know, like your own matrix, you know what I'm saying? It's like you're being preserved. You know, your animation has been suspended, but you're not that you're not dead. You know what I'm saying? Like Moshe in the book of Deuter Deuteronomy, his eyes were never dim, right? This was a marvelous work. Even a work and a wonder and the wisdom of their wise men shall perish. We had no wisdom, we had no breath, we had no ama. And the prudence of the prudence shall be hid, even the cold keepers shall be hid. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsels from a while and their works are in the dark and they say, who sees us? We're Morocco. Who sees us? Who knows us? Who knows what we've done? Oh, your perversity. Shall the potter be esteemed as clay? That the thing made should say of him that make it, he made it, he made me not Moab, Ishmael, Amon, Edom. Even if you serve these other powers, you still have one creator. So you better make your Allah the most high over everything. If you're calling on God, you better call on the most high over everything. Most high power. <sighs> wow. Your breath, your security, if you want security, or we're just talking perversity. Because you saying, hey, you didn't make me. I got my own power now. Should the thing that, that the thing made shall say of him that made it, he made me not. 
you gonna tell the creator he didn't make you that ain't your creator or the thing framed shall say that of him that framed it he has no understanding whoa this is for those that see clearly body bag for the illusion They just, Isaiah just put the framer in the shape of right in your face. The thing made should say of him that made it, he made me not, right? So that's your shaper. Or the thing framed say of him that framed it, he has no understanding. Understanding is Ama. What does it say in Proverbs chapter 8? I am understanding, she says. That's your framer who's framing you with the ingredients to pop off. And your shaper, your father, who gives you the vibration to shape you because we are shaped in his vibration. But Ama has the ingredients to make a fine meal so that we understand, understand, and overstand. It is not a very little while as Lebanon and Lebanon shall be turned into a fruitful field. Lebanon. Lebanon shall be turned into a fruitful field, man. It just reminds me of this. You know what we get last time? This uh, Lebanon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We just talking about that. Uh... Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> ka, ka, ka. Yeah, the Ivy League stuff. <laughs> the Moore's Charity School. Moore's Charity School was founded in 1754 during the Ice Age in Lebanon, Connecticut, now called Columbia, to educate Native Americans who desire to be missionaries to bring another power to their tribe, to hijack them into your frequency so that they're breaking rule number one and the most high over everything can't help them when they're out of cold. And you knew this, you created the opposites. You brought them the opposites called missionaries to slay the dragon in Lebanon, Connecticut, that is Lebanon. Connecticut, that is. Lebanon. It is not yet a very little while. A while saying, hold on. One day, Lebanon, Connecticut, America shall be turned into a fruitful field. And the fruitful field shall be esteemed as a force. And in that day shall the deaf hear the words of a book. No longer are you in a ruach, tarne ma, deep sleep. You can hear Hawa's words again. It's not sealed anymore, right? Yeah. The writing that is sealed, for it is sealed because you're in a deep sleep. You're staggering. You're trying to understand, but you say, I cannot, for it is sealed. I am not learned. Drop, how are we popping all this off? We're not learning their sciences. We didn't go to their structures. Colleges didn't teach us this. Public school couldn't teach us this. Why are you popping off? Why are you popping off, my knock? Because one day the deaf shall hear the words of a book again. 
The eyes of the blind shall see out of obscurity and out of darkness. You will have your dragon. You will see clearly. You popping off. The humble also shall increase their joy in Hawa, not Allah, not Jesus, not Muhammad, the creator. I'm not your enemy. If you are listening to the creator, like we're listening to the creator, we're walking together. If you're plugging into another source, we can't agree. What has your source done for us? What has it done for you lately? The humble shall increase their joy in the creator. And the neediest among men shall exult in the Holy One of Israel, not Ishmael, not the Ishmaelites, not their powers, not a Maxim, not Atlantis, not their graven images. For the terrible one is brought to nothing. Their Baphomet is brought to nothing. And the scorner, the hijack ceases. And all they that watch for iniquity are cut off. You watching for, you know, that out of code vibration. That's what you want. You watching for not to protect us, but because you want more of it. You want more iniquity. You're cut off. That a man that make a man an offender by words and lay a snare, a treaty, a covenant, a snare for him that reproves in the gate. And turn aside the just with a thing of nothing. We were turned aside by your treaties. This is why you're going to get this work. I'm not here to tell you that I could save you or, or we could save you. Nah. That's between you and the creator. But what I do know is that you're going to get this work. That's a very scary thing you should be feeling. When you realize what you've done, the covenant you've made against the children of Israel, against the creator. Therefore, thus says a who redeemed Abraham. We're talking Abraham. You love Abraham. Children of Lot, this is your God. No, it was your, <laughs> it was your connection until you decided to go otherwise. You're not following the tenets of Abraham. That ain't Abraham's cue. That's not what the technology is for. That's not what those harmonics are for. We're concerning the house of Jacob. Jacob shall not now be ashamed. And this is what we feel right now. This is what you should feel. We should feel shame for coming so low, being brought so low. We should be humble. You should feel shame for bringing yourself so low and disconnecting your people so much. But Hawa says now we shall not be ashamed. You going to get that work. You feel that shame. We don't feel no more shame. We've made recompense with our creator. We, we got that work. We've been judged. Our shame is over. We see clearly now our dragon is popping off. We see clearly now. No more shame. Neither shall his face wax pale. When he sees his children, the work of my hands in the midst of them, that they sanctify my name. Hawa! Yeah, they that sanctify the Holy One of Jacob, not Ishmael, not Moab. This ain't your tribe. So this is where the covetous come in at. This is why we keep a cold. You can't be covetous over here next to us. This is what the issue was from day one when Joshua let you breathe. You should be thanking the creator for Joshua letting you breathe every single day because you know Joshua let you live. Joshua let you live. We had to get that work because of it. 
Holy One of Jacob and shall stand in awe of the power of Israel. Hashurah. They also that err in their spirit shall come to understanding. And they that murmur, <laughs> talking all that wing wham, shall lean, shall learn instruction. You here to learn or you here to be cut off? Either way, it's up to you. Moshe, maybe he was put in a state of suspended animation, you know. Maybe Moshe, whose eyes were never dim. And no one knows of his sepulcher to this day. Moshe, Moshe, Moses was 120 years old when he died. His eye <laughs> was not dim, nor was his natural force abated. What is abated? To cause to become smaller or less intense, to lessen, to reduce, or to remove. Whoa. Moses' eye was not dim, nor was his natural force ever lessened, ever removed. My Naga, was he in a suspended animation? It's a marvel, it's a marvelous work. The temporary cessation or ceasing, stopping of most vital functions without death. This is Prester 89, we're just putting it together, the investigation throughout all these years. Over six years of dropping the drop, six years, my night, will drop nation right here, right now, <laughs> right here, man. So I love to drop nation, man. Wave surfers, man. I mean, you know what it is. Balcony surfers, you know what it is. Vital functions without death are being ceased. The cessation temporarily as in a dormant seed or a hibernating animal. Hibernation. Most vital functions are ceased, but without death, hibernating. And Moses was 120 years old when he died. His eye was not dim, nor his natural force abated. What does it mean, my Naga? This is Presta 89. <laughs> Can we have a theory? Knowing that Moab is in Utah. That Moshe, also in Utah, has a natural force that was never removed, reduced or lessened. Kind of like a temporary ceasing of most vital functions without death kind of like a hibernation like a dormant seed you know just being dormant ready to pop off because after hibernation you pop off right you you're pretty hungry at that time you get your vital functions back no longer temporary ceased right suspended animation without death hibernation of a dormant seed Abated, reduced? Was Moses reduced? No, his eye was not dim. What eye? Because in the marvel, 
in the suspended animation of the Prester, because John prepared to sit at the seat of survival, which would place him into suspended animation or hibernation. His eye was not dim, nor his natural force reduced, lessened, removed. Dormant seed, hibernation. So what happens when most of his vital functions are returned? Yeah. I guess when they return, you know, is Moses the only one in hibernation, suspended animation? Could Kandawi also be in a sort of suspended animation? Prester John, right? Because we're talking marvels. We're talking marvels. And Hawa said, I'm going to make a marvel out of you. These are going to be marvelous works, right? So Moshe's eye was never dimmed. And we say, what eye? Because over here they had this evil eye, right? <laughs> but we got the one with the deadly glance, right? Okay. And then we got this hibernation. <laughs> okay. And then we got this Jeremiah 30, but they shall serve Hawa their power and David their king, whom I will raise up unto them. This is after the whole first Kings and Samuel, right? So this is future. We're talking end of days where Jacob shall again be quiet and at ease. And what happens when we get at ease, we get our shalom. Their peace ain't our peace, and our shalom ain't their shalom. For Hawa will have compassion on Jacob. Here we go. And will yet choose Israel. This is why they mad, son. Huh? It's a choice Hawa has made to spread the frequency through his children and through that. They can be lights, right? They can be Israel lights, right? They can lead and guide the way and path of, of the light force, right? <laughs> the Judah is the Jedi with the light force. But you don't want to get in line in order with that. So you want to pop off a lesser light, have a confederacies of lesser lights to take down the light, the light force, the press, the, the Israel lights that Hawa chooses Israel has compassion on Jacob out of that deep sleep, right? Out of that Ruach Tarde Ma, Khan. What happens when you're at ease, Jacob? Hawakwa. Hawa will choose Jacob, set them in their own land. Oh. Naga's getting out the cities, sparking off Nagaville. Building on their own land, set apart, separate. And the stranger shall join himself with them. So don't be afraid because you're going to get. And these aren't just talking about Caucasians. This is talking about any stranger is outside the house of Jacob. So the Moabites will come over to join themselves. This is this is prophetic. You know, that there's going to be Edomites that want to join themselves. All those in the confederate are going to suddenly want to get life. They want to get that light because they're going to see nothing but death and destruction on their side. They're going to want to join himself with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. You holding on for dear life. You holding on tight. You humble. Wherever we move, you ready now, huh? But it's not your job to get our inheritance, our land. This land is our own land. This is Nagaville. This ain't your land. This ain't your lot because the children of Lot were not happy with their lot. 
They had a lot, but they didn't feel like they had a lot compared to Jacob. So they they grew covetous against the house of Hawakwa. But when Jacob is back at ease and then Shalom, Hawakwa, you know what they do, man? The people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of Hawa for servants. Yeah, you got happy because you were cleaving. But no, you came to serve so that there's no confusion on who's the head and who's the tail. That you cannot pop off no redemption without the house of Jacob being straight. Seeing clearly again out of that Ruach Tarde Ma, out of that spirit of deep slumber, deep sleep. You can't get no paradise without it. So these people that are popping off, these Nagas is popping off, these Nagas, these, these, these Israelites, these indigenous cons popping off, you better root for them. You better do everything you can to help a Naga build, man. You better do everything you can to help us build Joy World, man. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Stay dripping in that damn sauce. Hey, out to a 500 culture with the Nagas. Look at us now. Look at us marching to the mark. Checkpoint. My Nagas is building. We building for Nagaville. And this ain't the only place. We building it wherever we could build. We're starting to build again. One spot. This is just one acre. All praise of Wah, the tribe right now, if we put all our land together, has over a thousand acres right now. Nagas is building in Nagaville. This fence is stretching over an entire acre. It's the first one I've ever seen of its kind. Or show me your picture of your cedar wood fence on an entire acre. This is our vision. We're going to paint the inside blue, purple, red after the tent of meeting and the royal priesthood and the garments to remember that when that red and blue come together, we got the crown, we got the head again. We've come a long way since now. We got to the end of this joint. We got the gaps being filled up and the levels, you know, being re-leveled and everything, man, because we want the straightest fence. This ain't just about a fence. We are building the most level fence. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Each one of these pickets are level all the way. You know, even with our slope of the land, still level. And I'll praise a while for my fence building Nagas, my fence building team, man. You know who you are and you don't do it for no accolades. You do it for the children of Israel to pop off, man, to keep the cold, you know, to have a spot that we can do our best within these walls to keep our cold, keep our vibration high and always have a place to vibe up at. And this is one of many, one of many. You see this popping off, you a stranger, you better help us pop off. You better help us pop off. You inside the house, you already helping us pop off. <laughs> Cause I, you know, I got my 500 cold keepers, man. David Abreu, Sonia Baker, hey, I have all my nights, man. You know who you are, man. Y'all don't do it for no accolades. I see you. My sister Dolores, man, can I drop? I look forward to my invitation to visit when you finish building Joy World. MHOE for Joy World for the tribe, Big Fred. My only regret is that I'm unable to donate more. You've done enough. Allow why 500 cold keepers means that we keep reading up every week, every month, $10,000 to spread out and help us build our Naga Fields. Build our joy worlds. Twenty dollars a naga every month. Five hundred cold keepers is ten racks. Ten thousand dollars every time. So we're turning that directly into fence building purposes, well building purposes, getting our solar building more shelters and sheds. Keep supporting, and we'll keep building. 
we raising it to 20,000 so we can get all the way around. Oh man, Clave almost got us all the way to the end of this by himself, man. He's out there still popping off. Conclave, a hop to our Conclave. One man wrecking crew right now. He's popping off, man. So it's all happening. This is what we've done so far. 14,255. Why, my nigga? What you mean, why? We're coming out of Ice Age. We're coming out of Ice Age, which means we're coming out of the Ruach Tardy Ma, out of the spirit of deep sleep. House of Jacob, you're going to take them people who's cleaving to you, those strangers that now want to keep the code. Now keeping the code does not mean you take the inheritance of Jacob. Hawa chose Israel, man. But you can choose up and Hawa can give you compassion but you can't have compassion over the house that Hawa built the house man I mean, we, we just talk in the house man the, the paleo Hebrew alphabet <laughs> the bot is the house right Uh, let's see, they got my my normal alphabet, paleo, picto. I want to see the one I like. Chart. Putting everything down. I'm trying to get this drop. Let's go to images. Bang! There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Look at how beautiful, organized, in order Hawa is when you get back in your language from your Latin, English, where you get your A back to the left, from your B, where you get your you know, B in English, but back to the Ba'at. We're talking the house of Jacob. That L, that Aleph, that Aleph is a leader, strong power going into your family, your house. We're talking the house. You're talking about the Aleph bet. So the AB is the strong leader, Hawa, entering your house, causing you to See clearly and gather. Now you have a gom, you're gomming, right? <laughs> you're on that gom, you're tribing up, you're gathering through a door. It's all in the first four. You go through the door. Mama in Proverbs 8 says, I'm, I'm crying out as you are walking in this door. As you walk in the entrance, I'm outside crying out. You thoughtless, you thought you can do this without your breath. <laughs> giving you that revelation, <gasps> reveal, breath. Mama gives you the breath when you walk through the door, but you got to be led by the strong power, not the hijack. You got to bring your house, your body, your ruach, your vessel, which is your dragon. That's when you're tribing up and walking together, but these treaties stop that. The creation of opposites stop that. The conientio alchemical serpent is here to stop you from gathering. Walking through the door, you got to walk through the KTC to keep the code. You got to walk through the entrance, which is a portal. All of us got to do this. But you, children of, of Jacob, you got to do it first, man. It's the order. You waking up first. You popping off first. You got out your slumber. Let's go. Ha, ah, they say, hey, is a ah, sound, ah, sound, ah. Not hey. <gasps> wow. Added security you get with that breath. It's the reason why in the strongest concordance, H1961, they're replacing Lord or Hawa with Lord with the concordance H1961, bring you back to the primitive Hebrew verb Hawa. Not a 
It's up to you if you want to keep saying, hey, y'all, my naga, but I don't see, hey, y'all, in the first six letters of the Pictopaleo, which means what? That when you walk through that door, you got your <gasps> breath. Wow, security. I don't see Yahawa in the first six letters, six days of creation before your seventh day, which you got your food cut off day, Shabbat day, your nourishing day, where you rest, a complete rest for Hawa. So you can pop off your what? Your wall. Whoa. Why do we start building a fence? I don't know, my nugget. It just seemed like the right thing to do. Next, after we tribed up, walked through the door, us and our whole house, led by the strong leader, the strong power, and to our family, as we gathered and we moved through a door, we said, look at this. Look at these treaties. <gasps> It's time to pop off. It's time to see clearly. We are the Amaru Khan. We ain't from Africa. They've just found us here. So let's wow, get our security up, keep our code, get our additional look, additional security, get the hook so that we have something anchored in foundation. While they get washed away, we can hook into the foundation of Hawa to get our food. Now we eating. We breaking bread. Me and my brothers, we're breaking bread. My aquas are breaking bread. We cut off the hijack. We get nourished from Ama Abba. Then we start building a wall like Nehemiah. Just like Nehemiah, they had to build holding on one hand on the sword because they was being hijacked. One hand to build, one hand on the sword. Right now here, we popping off for Nagaville <laughs> with full security. Believe that. Allow why. As we build our wall, we are fully secure. Allow why. We build a wall outside, divide. <laughs> to uh, have a better half, right? <laughs> to form a better half, a better place, a cut off place. We cut the hijack out. Here we are with a boundary representing a wall. They know if you, if you crossed over this wall, you clearly trespass. It's like you having a privacy fence in your house Without that boundary, somebody might just walk into your front yard, even if they don't know it, right? But let them, let's make sure they know it. Let's put up a six foot cedar wood fence to cover an entire acre of land. So we are sending a clear message that we're serious about our wall, our hawa. They say when a dragon breathes fire, it sounds like they're saying wall. But they're really saying, ah, wow. Hey, we eating over here. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat up. We building the tent wall to have a division to divide out the hijack. Yeah, we outside, you know what I mean? <laughs> we outside, man. Wow. KTC, blue, purple, red. Yeah. Imagine a fence painted blue, purple, red. Let's go. White linen goes red. Our tenor meeting. Our code. Our crown. We remember. Wow. Wow. Joy world. La wow. Shalom. Tribe, <laughs> tribing up. We tribing up as we vibing up, my naga. This is our wall, so I didn't plan it this way. It's already in the plan. So all you got to do is follow the plan. You tribe up after you get that energy, right? That power 
within you, within your house, within your tribe, then you tribe up, you pop off, you know, start popping off your Nagavi, right? Because you're walking through a door together. You can't tribe up and not walk through a door now. What comes next after you start tribing up is there's an entrance for you to walk through, gather together so you can get that look, that mama, that, ah, that water, that breath. Only then can you even talk to your daddy to get that security. And without that security, you don't get no food. You ain't going to eat. Hijack going to run right through you. You don't have no cut off nothing. No nourishment. And without the nourishment, you'll never have a wall to divide you from them. Even symbolically, you know if you cross over this boundary, you trespass. And whatever happens, you know, you know you were trespassing. There's no confusion. You're trespassing. Bounce up out of here. Invite only, my nagi, or else you're trespassing. I ain't playing about my family. I ain't playing about my life. You trespass. Con con, we ain't playing with you. You trespass. We got a wall. What's next? <laughs> something will be contained and something will be surrounded. Because we get it out the mud. <laughs> then we got that work, man. Huh? Then we can worship my naga because we are contained. We're safe to worship now. What does it say? House of Jacob. House of Jacob is going to take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of Hawa for servants and for handmaids. And they shall take them captive whose captives they were. How the roles are reversed. Your treaties put us in captivity. But you will go into captivity. You will be our servants, says Hawa, for the Lord <laughs> will have compassion on Jacob. But we ain't going to whip you with chains and hang you on trees, you know, but you're going to serve in the house. You're going to know your position. And it ain't the position of Jacob, who is the head and not the tail. And they shall rule over their oppressors. And it shall come to pass in that day that Hawah shall give you rest. Huh? Food cut off nourishment. Zanza. You got your Zanza? From all travail and from your trouble and from the hard service that you were made to serve, Manaka, because you've been serving in Babylon. That you shall take up this parable against the king of Babylon and say, how have the oppressor ceased? The exactress of gold ceased. Gold, Manaka, we're talking cities of gold. Hawa has broken the staff of the wicked, the scepter of the rulers that smote the people in wrath with an incense stroke that ruled the nations in anger with the persecution that none restrained. The whole earth is at rest. The whole earth is in an ice age. The whole earth is in what they call it a uh, suspended animation hibernation the ice is just receding the glaciation lines are shown in the 1700s it's just warming back up hijack about to get up out of here it's being prepared for jacob again the whole earth is at rest and it's quiet they break forth into singing managa you singing while they're going into captivity whose captives they were You're singing, you're breaking forth into singing, you're rejoicing. Yeah, you're rejoicing. Because you're the head again and not the tail. We return. 
because it shall come to pass if you if you will hearken diligently, right? Listen closely unto the voice of the creator to observe, to do all his commandments. This is what it's about for us. That's why we can't blame you. And while you're surfing the wave, you get to learn something from us so that you can be in code, be in the wall, not outside the wall. You want to be contained <laughs> within Hawaz, Baruch, not outside of it. You got to observe to do all his commandments, which I command you this day, that Hawaii, your power will set you on high above all the nations. Not a little bit above, high above. So there's no confusion because ain't nothing worse than a confused con. Con? Etymologies, because we see clearly. Utah, Utah, U.S. Territory Organized 1850s, Dr. Hijack, from Spanish, Utah, Y-U-T-A, name of the indigenous Ute, Aztec, people of the Great Basin. Perhaps the Western Apache at the Bascon. <laughs> Utah is Udall, which means high. Lofty, you are high. It is exalted. Exalted territory. High above these nations. High above all the nations of the earth. Deuteronomy 28, verse 1. So because you're listening, hearkening diligently, listening, keeping the code diligently, to the best of your ability, you're being placed high above all. That ain't racism, that's order from the creator. If you ain't got a problem with that, get out of the, get out the kitchen, man. Get out of the, you know, equation and don't trip on these ice ages and plagues. You'll go to a special place where you can have your plague all to yourself. That plague ain't going to leave you. You got more coming. But to these children, to the seeds of Jacob that Hawaii has compassion on, the only one that I've known, the only family I've known, Amos 3, high above all is what you're supposed to be. On this earth, you are high above all. You're the royals. You're the royals. All these blessings shall come. All this Baruch. You want to be inside the wall. You want to get that Baruch. All this Baruch shall come upon you and overtake you. Have you ever, be, have you ever been overtaken by Baruch, by blessings? We say Baruch, not be less, not be less. We don't want to be less. We want a Baruch, we want to get that power, that energy from our power. Most high over everything. M-H-O-E. It shall, if you shall, hearken unto the voice of Hawaii, you KTC. Baruch shall you be in the field. Baruch should be the fruit of your body. The fruit of your land should be Baruch. You give him that Baruch. Fruit of your cattle, the increase of your kind. Young of your flock. Blessed Baruch shall be your basket you're kneading through baruch shall you be when you come in <laughs> baruch shall you be when you go out it was the last time you were baruch everywhere you go in and out a while will cause your enemies that rise up against you to be smitten a while will put your enemies make them your footstool if you just listen man I can't, I got to work on my Shabbat, then you don't want this. You don't want it for your children. You don't want it for your tribe. But I got to feed my family. You ain't feeding them like this. You're feeding them temporarily. But what's going to happen? Make a choice. You still got another power. You still want to call on that other power. You still want to have that covetous heart. You still jealous of your tribe, tribe. You still jealous of this tribe. You jealous of the creator? What? 
where's it going to stop? When you stop it, Hawa will cause your enemies to be no more. And they shall come out one way and flee before you seven ways. And if you don't listen, well, you know what happens. Hawa will smite you with madness. Now you're in a Ruach Tarima, a deep sleep. <laughs> Straight up. Because you didn't want to walk through that door. Can two walk together unless they agree? You didn't want to agree, right? So you can't get no breath and revelation. And you don't got no security. And you don't got no zanza, no food, no cut off day. Nothing separating you, no wall, no division, no nourishment. You're not containing anything. All your work is light work. Deep sleep, madness, blindness. You don't see clearly. And with astonishment of heart, you shall grope at noonday as the blind gropes in darkness. And you shall not make your, and thou shall not make your ways prosperous. Managa, we in a hood, man. What else you want to know? We don't own the land in these cities, man. And they shall be only oppressed, robbed always, and there shall be none to save you. These other nations can't even save you. They got treaties against you to this day. It's this or that, man. The stranger that's in the midst of you shall mount up above you higher and higher, huh? And you shall come down lower and lower. You shall lend to the, he shall lend to you, but you ain't going to lend to him. <laughs> you paying taxes, huh? You got to get loans. He shall be the head and you shall be the tail because you ain't listening. All these curses shall come upon you. All these curses shall come upon you famine drought slaughter crucifixion while your presta goes into suspended animation <laughs> but you're supposed to be high you dog you're supposed to be high judah These curses shall come upon you, pursue you. They're following you everywhere you go until they overtake you. Before you were overtaken with blessings, right? You were overtaken with that Baruch. And all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you. Now you're getting overtaken by curses. All these curses. to overtake you and they shall be upon you oh let's get it from here because you did not listen to the voice of the creator to keep his code his commandments his statutes which he commanded you and they shall be upon you for a sign and a wonder i'm going to make a marvel out of you upon your seed forever because you did not serve a while with joyfulness. Now we enjoy the world, man. Look how far we come. But at this time, we didn't serve a while with joyfulness. With gladness of heart, by reason of abundance of all these things, therefore shall you serve your enemy. Sound familiar yet? You see clearly? Whom Hawa shall send against you. Hawa sent these hijacks. Don't get mad at the hijacks. They're going to serve, you know, <laughs> their time too. But it started because you didn't want to listen. 
Hawaii sent these hijacks, put you in a Ruach Tarde Ma, in hunger and thirst and nakedness and want of all things. He shall put a yoke of iron over your neck. Ain't nobody else can connect to what happened with the so-called Negro and this slave trade, right? But the slave trade was told in reverse as they found us here and brought us into bondage everywhere until he has destroyed you, which means you are now being reborn after being destroyed. Hawa will bring a nation against you from afar. <laughs> Man, all right here from the end of the earth. We talking the earth plane. We talking worlds beyond a pole. The end of the earth as the vultures swoop down a nation whose tongue you shall not understand. Fierce countenance shows no regard for the person of old or young. We were meant to be the head, not the tail. This is a very interesting one that the camps like to use this, but <laughs> when you start to see clearly, it really becomes clear. Hawa shall bring you back into Egypt in ships. That don't mean they took you out of Africa <laughs> and brought you to America in ships. It makes sense when you see that Hawa brought you back into bondage in ships. You were found here and brought back into bondage because you've been in bondage before. <laughs> Babylonian captivity, Greek captivity, Roman captivity. Here we go, American captivity. Amaru Khan captivity. By the way whereof I said unto you, thou shalt not, thou shalt see it no more. I told you you weren't going to you know, have to go through this again, right? And there you shall sell yourselves unto your enemies. As bondmen and bondwomen. You went back into Egypt. By way where I said unto you, you should see it no more. You shouldn't have to see Egypt no more. When you got freed out of Egypt, remember that? Remember that? Remember Atlantis? Nah, you don't remember? You freed out of that? You had a chance to KTC? Link up with Joseph, pop off in Goshen. Tribe's good. You weren't supposed to see this again. A new Egypt. By way which, by the way whereof I said unto thee, thou shalt see no more. A new Egypt. Now we got to see Egypt again. We weren't supposed to see Egypt no more again. Here we go. A new Atlantis. Where you sell yourselves unto your enemies as slaves. The slavery is a choice. You made a choice by not listening. Would it easy say? <laughs> and no man shall buy you. No one can buy you out of captivity. No man can redeem you. No one can help you. They made treaties, right? Who can help you out of these treaties? They made treaties, Managa. Who's going to help you now? The whites, the creatures, the demons, the monsters, they gonna help you out of captivity? Nah, I think they're too busy with their treaties, man. <laughs> they're in a curse, just like you are in a curse. They cursed you, they get cursed. What does it say? You give my people blessing, I'm gonna bless you. You curse my people, I'm gonna curse you. Oh, the ancient Hebrews following Preston John. We're talking about the chief of the forest. 
who they called the Kumse, who is a chief, a priest, a Khan, priest kid. He's a Prester John. That's why we had to get the indigenous truth, our ancient love song, our perspective, tie it back into Prester John in a more recent time to wake these Nagas up. From mature and conscientious reflection, I cannot yield. I cannot yield to any man in my firm belief that the Aborigines of North America are the ancient Israelites, are identical unless controverted by the stern authority of superior historical deductions. <laughs> For that belief is founded upon the features of form and physiognomy, physio, physiognomy, as well as religion, customs, and religions and language. So, philology, physio, physiognomy, religion, customs, you know, all that went into his deductions <laughs> that the Aborigines are the Israelites, the Aborigines are the Israelites, the Aborigines are the Israelites. 1828, American, a native of America, <laughs> natural, let's go, man, let's go, what's a native, produced by nature, really, what's nature? in 1828 in a general sense whatever is made or produced a word that comprehends all the works of god the universe let me sip my cup of water right quick man. so a native produced by nature is a person produced by the creator gotcha And not all people are produced by the creator. Not all people are produced by the works of the creator. Some people are the creation's creation. <laughs> They're produced by people. Yeah. Some people are produced by people. Right. They're doing it today. Right. Cloning, yada, yada. So they can't say they're the works of God. They're the works of people. You are natural by law. Shout out to the bro. Because when they talk about nature, they're talking about the creator. Nature is used for the agent or creator, author, producer of all things, powers that produce them. By expression, trees, fossils are produced by nature. We mean, they mean, the hijackers say, produced by nature. They are formed or produced by certain powers in matter inherent in matter inherent powers in matter or we mean that they're produced by the creator Come. so the creator has everything to do with this but they hide it in nature Come. the creator produces the native Come. because a native is born with the being natural right The American is a native produced by the creator. The Aborigines, the Aborigines, the Aborigines. I cannot yield to any man in my firm belief that the Aborigines of North America and ancient Israelites are identical. The Indian is the Israelite. The Aborigine is the copper color tribes that are Israel. What they're saying is this Americans are Israelites that were found here, not brought from Africa, but Israelites found here, works of the creator, seeds of Jacob, the tribes found here, not brought here by the European.
but now apply to the descendants of Europeans born in America, which means that they can take your Israelite heritage by being born here in America. They can now with treaties steal your inheritance. Papu Bu, Doom Diverses, 1452, look it up. You copper color nagas, you niggas are Israelites, Americans, nat natural natives. And other copper color races found here, <laughs> they wanted to make a treaty against you here. Were they really found here or did they just come over in the third century, fourth, fifth century to set up shop? Right on your head, bone. The coom say, as depicted in the following pages, will not fail to observe the strong analogy between the religious sentiments of the chief of the forest and those ancient Hebrews. The language as uttered by the Kum say, while it may be attributed to the brain of the author, yet are the religious ideas not written by the pen of fiction. This ain't no play play. The Kum say is the chief of the Hebrews, the Aborigines, the originals, the natives, the natural ones, by law, the ancient Israelites. It's all identical. This is why they're cursed. This is why we had to overcome our curse. But they got curse too. <laughs> Cause Preston John is the chief of the tribes, the Copper Indians, according to Robert Knox. King David will be raised up unto us. Come. Therefore, fear not, O Jacob, my servant, says Hawah, neither be dismayed, Israel, Asherah, for I will save you, not a hijack, I, Hawah, will save you and your seed from the land of their captivity, and Jacob shall again be quiet, and at Shalawah, and none shall make him afraid. You'll be firm, fixed, and immovable when you serve Hawaii, your power, and David, your king, whom I will raise up unto you. Ezekiel 37, one shepherd. Hosea 3, search for Hawaii and Kandawi in the end of days. They got treaties. What is a treaty but a covenant? Covenant between the hijacks. A covenant between their, uh, how, do they, how do they call them? How do they call them right here? Let's get it bigger. <laughs> how you call them, man? Oh, come on. Here we go. <laughs> Casablanca, August 16th. Huh? Oh, yeah. This is going to give all the drop from Casablanca. And they're redating this. August 16th, 1995, or maybe that's the date, but we're about to find out. It says America was discovered by Moroccans. Discover means you're not indigenous here. You just found here. You just found us here. 1,000 years before Columbus is not indigenous. It means you were here 1,000 years before Columbus. <laughs> Wrote Catholic Digest in the article, which was reproduced Thursday by the Moroccan Daily. Whoa. 
according to these developed by according to the thesis developed by John Gallagher, archaeologist, archaeologist and professor at Fordham University, the author of the article Frederick Pohl asserts that there are irrefutable evidences attesting to the settlement of Moroccan Catholics in North America. Say it with me. Body bag for the illusion. Moroccan Catholics, you say? I thought those were two different things, Catholicism and Islam. But Catholics is just from Cathay. Cathay means pure land. So they want to be the Moors of the pure land. And then the more Moroccan Catholics, the Moroccan, right? They want to be the Khan and the uh, Catholic pure land Naga of Cathay of India Superior or North America or Northwest of Mexico or Northwest Africa, however they want to see it. But we're talking about the settlement of Morocco Catholics in North America in the third century is not indigenous. It's not natural. It's not produced by Hawa right here. It's just the third century. Got on. That's when you came and started settling in Connecticut or Lebanon. Wait, hold up. So you set up your, you know, Moroccan school, you know, that we got, you know, in Lebanon. And then you Lebanon, Connecticut, and you set up the Moroccan Catholics also in Lebanon. Near the coast of the Long Island sound we're talking about harmonics man <laughs> yeah these traces are believed to be the works of a monastic brotherhood which fled the vandals who had invaded north africa the whites right 429 is not indigenous to america no buddy we're just talking treaties. They love the treaties, man. They love their treaties, man. What can we say? They love their treaties, man. 1787 treaty with Morocco exempts them from American laws. This is where they get off on now. Look, man, you can't, you can't go against us based on our treaty. Remember that? But if we claim and try to do this, then we're not claiming us because this treaty was against us. We can't use their treaties to be exempt from American laws. We're not a part of it. Rod J. Rosenstein, the U.S. attorney for Maryland, said his office has seen a number of crazy stories, quote unquote in which defendants try some variation on the idea that courts are powerless over them. Some claim to be representative of the Pope. Others quibble with their names being spelled in capital letters in court records. The argument can be frustrating to prosecutors, Rosentine said, but rarely do more than slow proceedings down. Rarely, because sometimes it works, right? It's sort of a desperate move, he said, and it's most often employed by defendants who have no chance of putting up a legitimate defense. The notion that claims of Moorish American heritage, treaty making and heritage, treaty making knocks, treaty making niggas, can help defendants evade prosecution circulates in the Baltimore city. So they say, come be a part of our sciences. We can help you evade prosecution. The same way that you invaded and evaded the war, evaded the fight, evaded the tribe. The Combs say one to tribe up, you evaded that too, right? You evade prosecution. Okay. So, I mean, you see it. I'm going to leave the link, but 
<laughs> Joyer L. himself, a founder of Amores American Temple in Rosedale, said inmates would sometimes ask him about the organization's doctrines as their trials approach. He said he tried to steer them away from arguing against the legitimacy of the courts. <laughs> so who's he working for? Growing number of Moorish Americans trying to evade prosecution. They're still trying to evade <laughs> with their treaty. We talked about this treaty here, man. We talked about the treaty of Fort Wayne and all these treaties in between. There's so many that gave up land after land on the Presta, on Tecumseh on the Shikamagua, on the head bone, 1987, 1787, 1787, we're at war. Where are you at? Who you fighting for? Who you fighting against? You should feel shame. We feel shame for you, man, but we have endured our own shame. Chief of the Indians, right? Chief of Israel. They fought the descendants of Israel that fought to the very last breath. All this is still to come, say, Indian Seminole, because the Seminole was there from the very beginning. The Seminole was there from the beginning. The creek was popping off from the beginning. So they continue to pop off these creek, these Seminoles, even after the Kumsay's death. They continue to pop off. Now being renamed under everything else, Southwest Indians now. Okay. California Indians. Utah War. The High Lofty War. Judah War. To Texas War. Apaches. Colorado. Israel fought back. See, they want you to believe they brought you here from Africa without a war. You peacefully got on some ships, my naga, and came across the Atlantic. And so many ships came that millions of nagas ended up over here. Millions. Because they didn't have no nagas here already. Or did they ship these nagas out? And because of that, there was war. Here's their evidence that they didn't take you peacefully, that you didn't go down like no chumps, even with everything against you. You fought for hundreds of years, man. Where did you have the time to become an African slave in America when you're fighting the Texas Indian Wars, Southwest Wars, and the Northwest Wars? Northwest Indian War, Northwest Indian War, Northwest Indian War, Shikamagua, Shikamagua, Shikamagua. Okay, Southwest Indian War, Southwest Indian War, Northwest, Southwest, Managa, don't matter. Longitude and latitude on the Naga. Now we in Mexico invaded. They got a hold of this, now they in Mexico. After all these years, after the Kumsay, they make it to Mexico, find these wars now. Here we go, Mexico for 20, 30 years. Then they get to the Philippines. Now they're in the Philippines popping off. Treaties on treaties, bodies on bodies. Coming over here, damming up the damn dams. <sighs> damming up all the damn dams, the United States Department of Interior is letting you know. Grand Con Key, Con Con Key, what happened to Con Con Key? Con Con Key, what happened? Got damned up. At some point, you wakey wakey and you say, man, this is far from play play. The Copper Indians are the true Americans, are the tribe of Hashira. And this is Dawi who will rise again out of suspended animation. Moshe flow. 
will rise again. They love their treaties. Morocco relations. They love their treaties, man. Right? It caused an ice age, man. Shut the whole place down for hundreds of years. Dragon Canoe, another priest, King Preston, he tried to tribe him up. He, back in 1792, was exhausted <laughs> for making an alliance with the Muscogee and the Choctaw. He finally got the Choctaw on point, but that's not what the treaties say. For some reason, Dragon Canoe died of a heart attack right after that. Hmm. Right after traveling up the Choctaw and the Muscogee. Overhill Cherokee. Oh, little Tennessee River. We're going to get back on the Tennessee Valley Authority and all the damn dams. Because they were shutting down the place, man. All these tributaries. They were shutting it down. With the damn dams, look up the TVA. We're going to get back on the damn dams and the Naga cities underwater. Connected, man, with the fighting of the Shikamagua and Dragon Canoe. Not dragging. Dragon, Dragon Canoe, Cherokee War Chief, Priest Kings, Prestus. Fighting to the death in the Battle of Tippecanoe. With the Kumsegis rode up on, or Ten Sky. Watawa gets rode upon, also known as the prophet, who's the brother of Tecumseh, leader of Prophet's Town. Tip of canoe, right? Tip of canoe River. Prophet's Town was near the Tip of canoe River. Got it. Okay, okay. Remember. We're just talking America. Do you see a North America on this map in 1531? Nope. You see Asia, Cathay. Now they're the Moroccan Catholics coming into Cathay. No North America. You see North America on this 1561 Carte Marina Novella Tavola? Nope. Greater Asia, Asia, China. We're going to talk China. <laughs> We're going to talk some China. We've earned our right to talk China now. So we're going to start going into the OASP, talking this China a little bit, bringing this deliverer flow back to the Moses flow. Do you see any North America on the A la Carte de Navagera by uh, Paracachi, Tomaso in 1620? Oh, no. You just see India superior. Managa? Do you see North America on this uh, Ptolemaeus Augusti, 1548? No. You see Florida, though. But you see that Cathay again. Now they want to be Catholic, pure land Nagas from India, superior, which makes this the superior India. India is a vast, you know, generic term for where these Nagas are. This is the superior India. Ethiopia. Ethiopia is a Greek word, Ethiopia, meaning burnt face, Nagaville, melanin rich Nagas, right? They got the melanin popping, huh? <laughs> they got the melanin popping off, my Naga. Hey, just go get all the drops, man. Shout out to all my Nagas in the drop chat. Con fat, what it do? Yeah, they. They playing, right? Yosef said they jamming him up too. Everyone, they jamming up on YouTube, which is making us come over to our spot, our protected location, man, at 432, the drop. Love to Melvin Kroger. He's dropping drop on Niagara Falls, man. They discovering something out of there, he's saying, man. Odd story about Niagara Falls. They paid millions in stopping the flow. We're talking that damn, damn water excavating for repairs, quote unquote, just to say they found nothing but two bodies. And because they found nothing, allowed the falls to flow freely again. 
Stop it. <laughs> Melvin got the drop. Tall Tree got the drop. Drop Nation, we out here, man. We out here. You get all the links in the drop chat, and that's why I'll be dropping them now. So you got them protected in here, man. Legend, what it do? Big Ten, what it do, man? Hey, Daryl Fields, what it do? All the tribe. Alawa. <sighs> Alawa. Wow, y'all, y'all want some hang drum music for the dismount, man? <laughs> let's get, let's get in that four three two, man. Ain't no play, play. Let's talk. A, let's talk some comments, man. <laughs> hey, hop to y'all, man. Wow. The Grand Rapids Dam was a dam located at the Wabash on the state line between Wabash County and Knox County in the U.S. state of Illinois and Indiana. The Dam Dam was built in late 1890s by the Army to jam up the navigation of the Wabash River, man. Near Mount Caramel. Hmm. Oh, wow. A curse was placed upon the U.S. presidency by the chief of the Lost Tribes of Israel. Hey, free tech, man. Yeah, let's get into some gray input that the tribe's been putting in steady water my nog has been steady water out here man wow Hey, 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 for the dismount, AI, man, my bro Charles Johnson always showing the AI, man. <laughs> Son of El Naga King, what it do, man? Praises to the great, to the creator, the great spirit, all praises to the most high God, divine Holy Spirit, praise a why. Hey, that's all you gotta say. We tribing and vibing, man. <laughs> Glad you bringing it to light, Marcus. I remember bringing up a lot of things. <laughs> hey, people love, uh, you know. Hey, let's go, man. <laughs> that you're talking about years ago. Good to see the progression in the presentation of the recent drops. <laughs> hey, you brought it up some years ago. I guess you got the drop. <laughs> now nah, I was about to say people love calling me <laughs> Marcus that don't know me it'd be funny you know what I'm saying hey just call me drop man cause I don't think you know me you know what I'm saying <laughs> but we in that Naga flame though you right about that Don Claiborne what it do hey Hob yes to love and peace. Deep phenomenal lesson right here. Straight to the point with passion. Yo, what it do, man? Nas Troll, what it do? Liana Abbott, hey, huh? She said, what they say is global warming is a melting of the many ice age. Con, con. Hey, how about qua for your 
dragonfly perspective. They state having it to 2030. By then, it's going to be too hot in the shade for them. <laughs> Oh, wow. Hey, Hobbly Yoni. Yeah. So, all this global warming is cold word for the end of the ice age. Not many. I think it's the ice age. You know what I'm saying? I'll praise a wild love to Carmen Bailey, Luciana. Ah, yes, I'm in the room. Peace and increase. Peace be upon you. Drop nation. Can't wait for 89. We here now. Shouting you out, Lucy. What it do? Mercy and grace be upon you. Vanilla ice, ice baby, Carmen. You know what it is, man. We're talking about that whites. <laughs> Freddie B, what it do, man? He says, uh, what it do? Contra's been a while. How's the family? Steady water flowing. Allow water. Shalom, Freddie. Divono, D V N no smoke. All right. Man, you and Dan Calloway opening my eyes for real. It feels good to be an Indian or indigenous Israel. I'm hearing this more and more. People are now kind of coining that phrase, indigenous Israelite. That's cool. I mean, look, forget the titles, man. You know what I'm saying? You are. You exist. We exist. We are. All praise to Wah. And shout out to Dame, man. Keep keep that uh keep that calm flow going. You know what I'm saying? A lot Wah. Lawrence, what it do? Lawrence Richardson. The Coom say speech shots fire. Fear warning. He ain't no, he ain't on no play way, play, play. Productive of bad circumstances. Hey. <laughs> he, hey, she know what it is, man. Bad circumstances on the hijack. Shots fire. Second Corinthians, second Corinthians. Look, man, we, we ain't in that new test, man. So just soulfully, I know you drop and drop sometimes, but I ain't even trying to hear no Corinthians, man. Cause we got too much going on in our tonight. We don't even need it. Boston, what it do? He over there still wave surfing, man. What it do, man? M H O E Star Ace C uh, sixty six. Yeah, the thirty seventh commandment states: kill the mission. Hey, hey. we just keeping the call, Beanie Baby. What it do? Just the way you break it all down through all these lessons that the Drop Nation family has given to us. Priceless. All praise the most high power. Keep it coming. And hey, we doing it. Boston of Baltimore. We doing it, man. Yeah. Abenaki tribe is Anunnaki. De detect descendants of Anu, Acadia. Hey, look, man. We got to search more on it. And Anu, I think Anu is the guy. Man. You're in the wrong place, man. And you you, you want to dodge hijacks, man, and you dodge them. But you got to see clearly. Don't bring us into no Inkies, Sumerian, this and this. We're in the ancient love song. This is an amazing Bill Hey, I'm son of, of El Naga. Is it something else that you mentioned years ago? Huh? You, you didn't call me Marcus now, man. <laughs> It's all good, but only a few people call me Marcus, man. When other people just, just, you know, look, if you don't know me as Marcus, you don't know me as Marcus. You know what I'm saying? You don't got to try to act like you know me when you don't know. You know, that's all I'm saying, man. Hey, much love for this stellar drop right here. There's no indoctrination institution in the land teaching these facts. A million thank you simply won't do. MHOE, most high over everything. All praise our creator. Allow what? Uh, yeah, man, you see it, man. Y'all are popping off, man. All my noggins is popping off. Copper color popping off. Stay on their necks. Shabbat shalom. I wonder why fair kind of the Muslims own farmland, Chicago, Indiana, Michigan. They get an agricultural farming check from the government. Now I fully understand why. Ping, pow, let go. Allow, hawaii. Hey, hey, everybody appreciating the building in Nagaville. Hey, ha, beautiful beginnings, foundation anchoring for generations to come. Mahogany, love, you got the drop. Charles and Charles Johnson, peace, indigenous, Amaro Khans, we got the drop. 
the car got the drop, man. All praises do not stop. We are sending all high vibration, energy, and love to our family. Look at the remnant, remembering a lie, a wah. Fred Edison, what it do? He's digging on the drop. All of that old junior high, high school rhetoric came flooding in. I sit here in these classes like Alabama history, U.S. history, and those textbooks were full of lies, half-truths in our indigenous culture. I've been a militant my entire life due to being the youngest in my family with brothers who were raised with clarity in the 50s and the 60s. So I thought differently than most, but hearing, reading, and seeing the bullshit we endure made it certain that there was more to the story more and i've devoted my life to find out what that more was a hop to the entire naga field tribe for keeping me focused on what's trill trill means too real trill means it's too real <laughs> and where we all need to, to strive to be tribing up and keeping the code by any and all means necessary bound by prophetic law to keep the peace, peace. Allow wah. Hallelujah is allow wah. Aqua, Miss D, you got to drop. Hey, my noggins know what it is, man. I'm a 55 year old white man. I've been seeking real truth about the creator for years and have paid dearly for it. Most of my family does not like it. You, my friend, are a gift from to all who has opened, has an open mind. And I wish you and yours the best. I will pass this great info on to all that will listen. Okay. Hey, all right. You know. Okay. <laughs> now, hello for all my People, whatever you are, whatever you are, man, you're keeping the cold. Then like Isaiah 11, Isaiah 14 say, you know, you will cleave to the house of Jacob. Humbly, and we appreciate that. Building a foundation, black sunflower, you know, you know. <laughs> all my nagas, all praise the most high, man. <laughs> I'm in here like last year. Calm, my brother, you ain't playing Presta 125 in a couple. Oh. Hey, when that happens, catch us exclusively at 432thedrop.com. <laughs> hey, Hop Contessa Taylor. B-O-W-Y, Hawa, Drop Nation, I believe wisdom in Proverbs 3, 5, and through 8, the disconnect with our family Israel is because we are so locked into our own perspective, we don't leave room to grow in knowledge and understanding but yeah we caught up in a loop man which we need both to have wisdom knowledge and understanding drop nation i will continue praying for a while to open up the truth all praise to the most high a while. we are the founder of youth they got it through the land our women isaiah brown got the drop he's impressed at 81 a while. Hey, how for your support, Khan. Hey, how for your support. Allow. Dawa da. Continue to get the drop. Surf the wave. What a nage. We're going to go straight to press the 100 just to get it, you know, out there and, and, and popped off, you know what I'm saying? And uh, then transition exclusively, you know, like I said, you don't go to world, you don't go to YouTube to get the world star <laughs> hip hop, right? You, you you don't have to go to YouTube to get the 432 the drop.com. You go directly to world star, you go directly to 432 the drop. You don't need to go through this channel, but we, made our mark here and we're going to do our dismount here press the 100 coming in hot because we the head not the tail my not we the head not the tail again my not and all this baruch shall overtake you my not press is in the house 
wall of protection is going up. He think it's play, play. The Wada to the tribe. We did it again. Anaga, we did it again. Keep spreading that Baruch and click that link below immediately. And click it every week. Save it on your laptop. Save it on your computer, on your phone. You got $10. Help us get some more materials, please. $20, even better. You can spare 100 or more. Please do so. Every week. Every month. Let's not feel the shame no more. That it takes us so long to raise $20,000 or, or to hit our goal. We can do it faster. Every month we can have $10,000 by Naga if we believe in each other, trust in each other, to be a wall of protection for each other. Allah, wow. This is going up for you. Hey, hop to the cold keepers, waking up out that Ruach, Tardy Ma returning from suspended animation. We in here. Press the John 90. Coming in hot. Hey, Preston. <laughs> we on the trail now, man. We on the trail. Shalawan to the tribe. Stay up. Suda. Choose up. Drop nation.